Alright. Alright. We on. Hold up. Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the elect. All right, we're the Hebrew Israelites. We come out here week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of Babylon the Great. All right, the end of hell, the end of captivity for you Israelites. All right, uh, 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 the ushering in of a righteous kingdom. As the scriptures say in Second Ezra, the uh, sixth chapter, all right, in the ninth verse, Esau is the end of the world, all right, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it, all right. And on the planet Earth in the latter days, we're living in times where that remnant that was promised to be raised up, all right, is being raised up, and we're fulfilling that very prophecy, all right. If you're looking for a miracle, if you're looking for a, a sign, if you're looking for something, all right, to 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 you know spark your interest, well, the the, the interest is that the Israelites are coming back to the most high according as it was promised in the as as the prophet said the prophet said that the israelites will wake up in the latter days and it's happening and everybody's trying to talk around it okay but you can't stop it because it's a fire that's been lit all right going all the way back to uh, uh, uh elder abba Bivens, man and the spirit of the lord has been stirred up on the earth and his servants in these latter days and we're here to prophesy Okay, so let's get Isaiah the 61st chapter. Go ahead. Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Right. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. There you go. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Right, the day is at hand. And what does the scripture say? Niggas riot in the daytime, man. The day is at hand. All right, the Heavenly Father's getting ready to do something on the planet Earth. Why do you think? The Apostle Tahar through the Spirit was stirred up to call this year the year of turning up. Has, is not everything turned up? Yep. Are not things becoming more obvious according to the Bible that these words are faithful and true? How much more are the Israelites waking up? You can't take that out of the equation. It's time to wake the hell up. Get out of that docile, stupid, weak, all right, complaining ass spirit, man. We got work to do. The Heavenly Father is getting ready to deliver the, the remnant from the hands of the enemy. Right? Because what is, what is he getting ready to try to do? He's getting ready to try to digi digitally tag you, right. mark you, make you his possession, man. Yep. <laughs> All of the words of the Lord are coming to light through the prophets, man. And the prophets are going to get their respect. First of all, the Most High and the Son are going to get their respect. But that's going to lead into the prophets getting their respect, man. Go ahead. Right. Back in verse 12, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. There you go. That's right. And that armor is described in the book of Ephesians. Was that the sixth chapter? Where it talks about the different components of the righteousness of the Heavenly Father. That's the purpose of, of us coming out, to warn you, right. to tell you that the end is coming. Right, the final warning. That's right. But it's also to put the word out for the hopeful elect to wake up and turn to Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah. Right. Which is the Most High's name in the name of his son, right. Yahweh Shah. Right. That's our Savior. And we're, we're, salvation is nearer than when we believe. Right. 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 That's why we see prophecy going on all, all across the world. That's okay? it. Okay? Yep. Th things are are turning up or manifesting, right. revealing themselves. Right. That's okay. Right. Yeah, 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 right. Right. Um, some slide. Right. Right. The simple fact that you see these men on the highways and the hedges all over the four corners of the earth is a clear indicator that this is the end of the world. You know, because he, he, we mentioned in those last days we was going to have the spirit of sleep cast off from us. And then we was going to be out on the highways and hedges prophesying. Right. The Heavenly Father always sends his men out to prophesy right. before 
the terrible day that he brings, man. Right, right. And whenever, whenever big things were getting ready to happen in Israel, mm -hmm. the Israelites, those who are into the scriptures, will be looking to see, I wonder who he is. Be thinking, I wonder who that is. Right. That's normal according to the Holy Scriptures. That comes with the legacy of the Israelites. We were always in, in, in tune with the Spirit to the point where we knew that could be such and such. Right, right. Go ahead. Now this is Malachi 4 and 5. Behold, I, I will see you, Elijah, the prophet, before the coming of the great and dreadful day of Yahweh. Now how is that great and dreadful day described? Go to verse 1. Malachi, Malachi uh, 1. Malachi 4 and 1. Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. See, this is the final warning. This is the final time the Lord is going to flee, just like through Noah. All right, at that age, for that time, that was there was a final message that needed to be heard to turn back to the Lord. Right? And what came afterwards? The flood. But the next, the next... <laughs> Uh, 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 destruction that the Lord is going to bring is going to come in a form of fire. That's right, that's right. And through it, he's going to gather his elect up. Okay? The elite, they're going to be hiding in their bunkers. <laughs> All right? And he's getting ready to, to, to perfect and beautify a new government. Because that's what the world needs. New management. New management. Go ahead. Yeah. So to read that again. Now look at 4 and 1. For behold, the day coming that shall burn as an oven. There you go. And all the proud, yea, all that do wickedly right. shall be stubble. They shall be stubble. Now who's promised to be stubble according to the Holy Scriptures? The biblical Edomites. The daughter of Babylon. According to the Scriptures, you're going to be stubble. So the day of the Lord, the final message is the ushering in of fire. Starting with the prophet Elijah, who, who called down fire in his time, in his flesh called down fire as he clashed with the prophets of Baal. Man. And we're clashing with the prophets of Baal, man. And through his coming in this time, all right, fire is getting ready to come down to, onto this earth, man. Through the new song being sung. Go ahead. And the day that comes to burn them up, he said, you have a host. There you go. <laughs> that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Woo! So it's talking about there's only one place in the Holy Scriptures that, that, that is going to be burned to a crisp to where no man will dwell there forever and ever and ever and ever. Okay? <laughs> Babylon the Great. Right? So that's talking about before the Lord said before that fire comes, he's going to send you Elijah the prophet. Now what is Elijah known as? The greatest prophet. Yahawashai out of his mouth said that's the greatest prophet. Through him comes the prophets, man. And that's an energy of fire that's been started that you devils can't put out, man. So, so much that we're out here, we decided, hey, the brothers from Chicago go out in the cold, okay? These brothers in Alaska, brothers go out in the cold everywhere. Why can't we go out into the, into the cold for the Lord, man? And proclaim this glorious message of the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. A better day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For the streets will dwell with love and righteousness forevermore. Go ahead. Isaiah 61. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 61, verse 1. Yep. And it reads, The Spirit of the Lord Yahweh is upon me, mm. because Yahweh hath anointed me right. to preach good tidings of the meek. And this is really a spirit of the prophets, and it starts with Yahweh Shai. Because ultimately, he went to the temple. He went back home to Nazareth, a subdivision of Galilee that was a poor, all right, what, what today would be, it would be a poor area. And he went back, and he went to the temple, and he read this very scripture, and Jake tried to throw him off of a cliff, Man. a mountain. <laughs> Why? Why are they so mad? <laughs> Go ahead. Gone. It says... Because Yahweh hath anointed me to mm. preach good tidings unto the meek. Mm -hmm. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. There you go. To proclaim liberty to the captives. Liberty to the captives. Ain't you tired of being a slave? Right. Aren't you ready to enjoy the earth? Aren't you ready to upgrade your way of life, thinking, existence, being on the earth? 
under Yahweh Bashim Yahushai? That's what the scriptures promise you. You can't go nowhere else and get this promise, man. Right. Yahweh Shai said, to he that overcometh, okay, well, I give what? A, a, a power and authority over the nations, man. Meaning you're going to be one of the ones set up to directly usher in the kingdom of heaven to where you're teaching the whole world how to live and how to be on the planet earth. Because you heathen don't know how to be. Through you ruling and being able to have your way, you have Kentucky Fried Chicken, you got Chinese food, you got all of these abominations being set up in neighborhoods where Jake dwell, passed off as real food or, 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 or some goddamn wreck. Everything is polluted. Polluted, man. Yeah, man. We talk about the food because, you know, you know, we Damn. love food as people. Hell yeah. You know, that's the way you, you, you live. <laughs> yeah. But everything is defiled in this in this uh, place, man. Right. The air you breathe, the water you drink, relationships. Right. Everything. Make sure you watch your foot. I am. You yeah. gotta look. You gotta look. Yeah. Don't 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 get confident. Don't get confident. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But everything in this place is defiled, man. So yeah, this, the whole thing needs to be burnt and reestablished. Right. Okay. Right. Right. That's it. That's the answer, man. What we just read. That's the day that's gonna come in, in all of your mouths, all of the pride, all of the stank. Everything's gonna be refined through that fire. And it's coming to primarily burn here in Babylon the Great, man. Yeah. yeah. I got it. The it. hub of witchcraft and wickedness, man. And you can feel the demons, man. Yes, yeah. Everything wars against you. Yeah. Go ahead. First Peter chapter one, verse three. Blessed be the the Most High and Father of our Lord Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, according to his abundant mercy, have begotten us again unto a lively hope Woo! by the resurrection of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach from the dead. Woo! To an inheritance incorruptible, incorruptible and undefiled, and that fadeth not away, right. reserved in heaven for you. There you go. <laughs> You know, right. and then uh, something undefiled, uncorruptible. This is our hope. This is the battle right. for us to be changed into. This is why we got to put on the armor of life and, and continually prepare for the return of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh for the return of Yahweh Shah, man. Right. Right. It's for this defiled state, this corruptible state, anything you get here, an inheritance in this world is defiled and corruptible. That's right. But when Yahweh Shah returns and everything is made new, we have access because of his sacrifice. When he was sacrificed, you know, over 2,000 years ago, that opened up a way for <laughs> us to come into an incorruptible inheritance. Right. And it's not some pie in the sky place. It's going to be on earth. The earth is going to be cleansed. That's it. When he returns, man. That's it. That's what they don't want. That's why they don't like to hear this message. They don't like the fact that we say, hey, the baton is about to be passed on earth. When you're in church rolling all around and you talk about going to some place in the sky that nobody, you know, they don't care. Go ahead, Negro. Don't worry about this. We, we got this earth. You worry about whatever we told you. But we coming out here to tell you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that there is an inheritance that's getting ready to come that's going to be beautiful on earth. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Go ahead. It's Revelation 5 and 10. And it says, And hath made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. He's backing that up. Yeah, because the people think when they think the kingdom of heaven, they think we're going to be in the sky forever. Yeah. Now, we are going to, there is a promise of us being caught yeah. up into a chariot. Yeah. Right? And being crowned and being changed and receiving new bodies. But the end goal is what? For paradise to be set back up on earth. <laughs> That's right. That's you think the Lord created this beautiful vessel for it to be just destroyed right, and right. freaked out forever? No. Yeah. Yeah. True order is what's missing from the world. You need order. You need, you need guidance. You need to know how to interact with the earth. You need to know, I shouldn't do this with this particular creature. I should, you know, I shouldn't eat this. I shouldn't throw this in the water. You should know those things. Right, right. Well, that's what we're coming to teach you. Because Jake thinks it's just going to be the 613 commandment. No, the way of righteousness 
is going to be ushered in through us. We're not going to have to go, okay, this is law 363 here, you wrong. No, 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 no. That way it's over. We're coming into a way to where the, the, the law, everything is going to be fulfilled in us. It, it, uh, it's going to be an operation. Operation, it's baby. Operation. <laughs> we the book. That's right. All right? The temple. A spiritual temple is getting ready to be set up right. in a form of a government, and that government is known as the throne of David, man, which is far better than the throne of Esau. Go ahead. This is back in Isaiah chapter 61, um, continuing on in verse 1. Right. He had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, Woo. to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. And where is Jake bound at? Mentally, more than anything. Right. Okay? Because, yeah... You're, you're bound mentally, but then the earth under Esau's rulership is a whole nother prison. <laughs> so you, you, there's prisons within prisons in this place, man. But ultimately, how does he have you in prison? Through the philosophy, that wine he gave your ass, man. That bottle. Woe to him that put this bottle on his neighbor so that he can look on his dead, his drunk body and take advantage. Like they say Bill Cosby did. Well, Esau did that with the nations, man. Go ahead. Right. Right. Did to Noah. Right. And what was the product of Canaan? Really, the hub of witchcraft. Right. And the land of Canaan, which we went into and established the nation of Israel, we were vehemently warned by Yahweh, Yahweh by Shri Yahweh to refrain from those type of ways. There you go. You know? Absolutely. Yep, that's what the wilderness was for. Right. It wasn't meant for us to be in the wilderness that long. It was meant for us to get the laws and basically have a boot camp yeah. of righteousness right. and utilize that boot camp of righteousness and go ahead and take that into the promised land. Right. But we were so rebellious and unfaithful, most I said, you know what? None of y'all going. I'm going to let make you walk around for 40 years until y'all die out. Yeah. And then I'll let your children, right. if, they get, if they on point, I'll let them come into it. And that's where you get the book of Deuteronomy, yeah. a reintroduction of the law yeah. to that generation that, that, that okay, after that wicked, rebellious generation died, they said, we're going to start over. Show you the Lord, he, yeah. he ain't playing. He, ain't playing. <laughs> right. he did that several and, times. And, and, right. and the Lord right. can make adjustments when he wants to. There you go. That shows you that, too. Right, right, right. He can, if, he, if he don't like the way it's looking, I'm going to do this. Because he wants to. Right. You know? <laughs> yeah. You know, right. Right. You got hey, but now I was, I, as you guys were speaking, I was just maybe uh, I had an epiphany. Like the reason why we we was in that waters for song because Jake wasn't ready. When we, when we were put through ever, uh, adversity, what did we resort back to? The flesh. ways, the, the way of the flesh, the way of the uh, the, the, uh, uh, the Egyptians. You know what I'm saying? So the Most High had to constantly put us through uh, uh, turmoil in order for us to get it. But there's only going to be a elect group of people that's going to understand the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, mm -hmm. right? I, I believe it talks about that in uh, First, uh, First Corinthians, the tenth chapter. You know, what I'm saying us, us going through these, these uh, uh, how we were with the uh, various adversities, and then how eventually, you know, what I'm saying people had to die off. But there's a remnant that's going to understand. See, we are coming in time to where the remnant, the elect, is going to. Uh, is being made manifest yep. throughout the various trials and tribulations they have. Yep. You know? That's the simplicity of Hamashiach Yahweh Shah. Yeah. When you look up the word simplicity, basically it means naive. You don't know nothing else. So that generation that came after didn't know nothing else. They knew this, you know? But we're in that time where we needed, like we talked about, our hearts needed to be operated on, you know what I'm saying? And so, I got a quick one. I know you got one as well. Yep, and I still want to get that Isaiah. God, God, this Go is Colossians chapter 2, verse 10. And ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power. The son of the most high. Could you imagine Peter and them, once they realized and, and, it, and, it, and it, it dawned on them that this was the direct son of the most high? He, he left that heavenly order to come down in the flesh and be hated on man sped on he was a slave what did he say give unto caesar and what is caesar's I meaning he was in captivity what in his kingdom the, the the top spirit on the right hand side came down to do all of these things for us man 
made himself of no reputation. But give Jake thirty dollars. Go ahead. Right. He acted damn fool. He acted damn fool. Y'all watch football. It says, verse eleven. In whom also ye are circumcised with the circumcision, not made without hands. Right. Not made without hands. Meaning ultimately from the foundation of the earth, you 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 are a sacrifice right. Right. unto the Lord, a special possession, man. The separation. <laughs> right? Right? Go ahead. In putting off the body of the sins of the flesh right. by the circumcision right. of Hamashiach. There you go. Right? Yeah. Alright, so his cutting was for us. Right. And your, your belief on him brings you underneath that spiritual circumcision. Right? right? It says, buried with him in baptism, wherein also ye are risen with him through the faith of the operation of the Most High, mm -hmm. right? So he what? With that operation is what? Your mind and your heart Sorry. and your spirit. Oh, you're changed, you're transformed, okay? Right. And so that baptism is baptism of what? The spirit. Right. That's why it's called the Shemayim, the heavens, the waters, right? When the Holy Spirit comes down on the crown on, on, on you, when, you're, when the Holy Spirit is poured down upon you for brothers and sisters, when you first started listening to this word and when you received and believed that word, you were baptized in the Spirit. There you go. Okay? Yeah. And you can, that can only happen uh, through Yahweh Shach's, through Yahweh Shach Hamashiach's sacrifice. All right? Yeah. It says, we're in also ye are risen with him through the faith of the operation of the Most High, who have raised him from the dead. It says, and you being dead in your sins, dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, have he quickened together with him. Right, and the uncircumcision of your flesh. <laughs> and that, that's what Abraham represented, being uncircumcised, but the grace and authority of the Most High at that point was over the technicalities of the, these particular things he gave us in the form of a culture. The Lord's favor, okay, superseded that. If you look at the whole building up of the nation of Israel, it's surrounded with that. There were particular things that happened that technically really wasn't the way it was supposed to happen. And, and, and what happened? The Lord's authority was done. This is what I wanted to happen. I'm going to have mercy. Go ahead. Right. So that, so this is, it says, being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh. So un underneath that, that, that circumcision of our, or uncircumcision of our flesh, we were sinful, we went off. It says, have he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses. Woo! Right? He paid the bill. That's right. He paid the bill. All right. Right. Go ahead. This is back in Isaiah chapter 61, verse 2. Right. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. The acceptable year. We're here to proclaim to you the acceptable year. The Spirit of the Lord has anointed the prophets, okay, with the understanding on the planet Earth, the Comforter. Yahweh Shah said what? And what happened? The light came on. <laughs> the light came on, man. The Lord, the Lord has brought forth His glorious light and entered into the, 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 the vessels of the holy men of the Lord to be raised up in these latter days, man. And it's happening right before your eyes. Okay, go ahead. To proclaim the acceptable year of Yahweh and the day of vengeance of our God. Right, and the accepted and, and, and there's gonna be an acceptable savor, acceptable cry that the Lord hears. There's gonna be something acceptable and pleasing to him. The way he got his story, he's gonna want it just like that, and that's when he go he gonna get us up out of here. Yeah. His will is gonna be done. Because we're here to magnify the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. That's the honor that has to be established before anything. We're nobody. It's all about the names of the Most High and His Son. Point blank period. That's the authority we're here to represent. We're ambassadors, right? What is an ambassador? Okay, something that speaks on your behalf. What do you think a U.S. Embassy in a place where they don't uh, belong, what do you think that's there? That's them ha having their opinion, <laughs> someone on their behalf, speaking their will in your territory. That's an embassy, an amb ambassador. Well, we're here to, as ambassadors of Yahweh Bashim Al-Shah. 
Okay? Go ahead. Glad tidings. This is back in Isaiah 61, the end of verse 2. To comfort all that mourn. And our people are mourning, man. And the crazy part about it, the Lord is so merciful that even the ones that are wicked on this side eventually will come back. All right, and be obedient unto him, man. That's the that's the power we're dealing with here. We're not dealing with a nigga. We're dealing with the most high through his son. And his thoughts are not our thoughts. That's what you Israelites got to get that out of your mind. That somehow the way you think, the way we think, we wouldn't have had mercy on our woman if she did what Israel did to the most high. Right? She'd be out of there. You'd be ignor ignoring her ass forever and then she just died. Right? But the Lord, he, he's on another level. His, his mercy and the way that he operates is above the playing field that you can even wrap your mind around. Because he has the power to cleanse. Yeah. <laughs> right. He has the power to cleanse. Right, right. literally cleanse it, you know? Yeah. For, my, for his holy name's sake. He said, yeah. you know what? Yeah. I'm going to cleanse you for my holy name's sake. Right, right. Because right. I, I made an oath to your forefathers. Right. I'm going to cleanse you. Right. Mm -hmm. And put you in the land like I said I would. That remnant. There right. you go. That's right. right. And that's what the remnant are here. We're heirs to the to the promise. That's right. You got people over there talking about their heirs to the promise. And nobody questions them. All right, here it is. We stand up in our lowly estate and just take a choice corner of our, our liking and just preach, right? And we're the, the worst thing going. But this guy gets to go over there and bomb the shit out of everybody and say, I belong here. And just take the land. And that's cool. He can speak Yiddish. He can say what the hell he want to say. We can't even have a language. Ah, the last one. Why ain't this nigga being scrutinized? And what prophecy do they fulfill? The Israelites will be in captivity at the coming of the Lord, according to prophecy. Right? So this message of liberty in an acceptable year is to the Israelites. Who you think Jeremiah was preaching? He was preaching to the Israelites, man. The kingdom is coming, sweetie. We been to be all right. We gonna be all right. That's right. The Lord is coming to get his people. And through Yahweh's sacrifice, we good. But it's also through the sacrifice of the men of the Lord in these times, man. We have a sacrifice under his sacrifice. And that fulfills the, the story. That's right. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. It's Isaiah. Chapter 42, verse 6, it says, I, Yahweh, have called thee in righteousness mm. and will hold thine hand and will keep thee and give thee for a covenant of the people, for a light of the Gentiles. Mm. So when, he, when someone holds your hand and they keep you, like right now it's icy, right? When somebody is holding you, holding you, they're keeping you from falling. So the most I set up in the spirit, he's going to hold us and keep us, man. Yep. Like, you know? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Verse 7. To open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from the prison, and them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. Woo! And that's Jake. Our people sit in darkness, man. Where those dry bones that were prophesied? How, how did the so-called, uh, 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 the, the, the small hat, how does he fulfill the prophecy of the dry bones? Yeah. Keep, keep, keep calling us one. Yeah, Call yeah. us a nigga. Call us another nigga. Yeah, they, We've been they, called they, worse. That's it right there. We've been called worse. It's all good. That's it right there. What do you think we've had? The, the disciples were called niggers. We, you fulfilling prophecy. We're not mad. You think nigger yeah. hurts us in 2022? Yeah. yeah. Wow, yeah. nigger. Well, I don't give a damn. I think I'll go eat some Indian food and, and smile and talk to the brothers. I don't give a damn yeah. about you calling me a nigger in 2022. Right. You did worse. Yeah. You hung. Jump down you, and said You hung like our it. forefather. Yeah. Yeah, right there. You hung our forefather, the very place we're that's, preaching. That's the memorial. All right, the memorial is right here. Camera. There was a Jake hung right here. Right. So you were there. You're back. You are back, all right? And you ate enough Rocky Road ice cream, okay, and ate enough juniper berries to survive until this point in McDonald's to fulfill your lot and be destroyed. That's right. Right? The Lord gave you enough food, a house, an apartment, whatever, you had to survive your ass until the yeah. day of the coming of the Lord to lose. Yeah. All of you eat a mic. That's yeah. right. That's right. right. See, this is a torment tool, man. Right. The most I set us up. To come curse you out in your own kingdom. Right. You up there drinking some hot cocoa. Hurt. Watching Seinfeld. Right. 
Okay? And now you gotta hear us bouncing off your windows. Right. Oh well! Hey, we're yeah, burning yeah. some stones. Your kingdom is going down, it's Isa. Right. That's it's right. Over. It's over. It's, it's over. over. That right. fourth, that fourth, that fourth beast, Rome, in the revival of it, that little horn, it only had but a short time. It's called a little season. Right, right. And so from the Renaissance period until now, you've been able to forward your bullshit in the planet Earth as That's fact. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. That's what's happening here, and now it's being challenged and being proven to be false. Yeah, that's the problem. It it, it, this isn't a society that that <coughs> resembles light. That's right. Right. This is not an age of enlightenment, in the sense of technology, maybe. Yeah. But what is the result of it? People lose. People aren't. Or human beings aren't forwarded. Yeah. Artificial forms of it are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you got a you got an iPhone, but cancer rates up the roof, right. man. Right. You got fast food, but everybody's uh, uh, arteries are clogged up. Everybody's dying, man. Right. Yeah, you got com uh, plastics, but the ocean is bubbling. Right. And what, all these chicken wings? Where do all these where fucking chicken wings come from? Man? Yeah. That's what is facts. this? What is going on right. here? Right. Yeah, it's a lot of chicken wings. Why did Kentucky Fried Chicken change to just KFC? Is it chicken still? Yeah. What is? What are you doing? <laughs> we go take the Kentucky and the chicken and the door away ain't fried. What is it then? What are you doing? Yeah. This ain't no high-end society, right. man. Okay. And the wings, they be there all day, yeah, every all day. day. Wings. They you can go get some wings at any point of the day. Yeah. Taco Bell got them. Now. Everybody got them. Right, in a meat uh, shortage. Yeah. In a yeah. meat shortage, Taco Bell pops up with a with a with a chicken wing. <laughs> yeah, we got some. We got some. Go ahead. What we go back? Back to Isaiah. Yep. Let's just keep reading. This is back in the book of Isaiah, chapter sixty-one, verse three. Right. It says to a, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes. Why do you think Jake is marching around? Why do you think Jake was being was able to be fooled by the civil rights movement? Because emotionally they know they were done wrong. Emotionally they know something ain't right. But it's just misguided. And that's what the civil rights movement was saying. We're not here to preach Black Lives Matter. We're not here to preach none of that garbage. We're here to preach the Israelites, the right. 12 tribes, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, as well as the rest of the Israelites who may not look like them. Yeah. But you believe. We'll ride with you. If you ride with Yahweh Ba Shemel Shai and you, and, and you repenting, you got to be fulfilling the prophecy. That, you got to be a part of it. Yeah. I can't hate on you. Yeah. The spirit is true. You don't look like me. So you ain't fulfilling prophecy of, of the Israelites waking up. Yeah. Nah, we, we roll in the spirit, man. Yep. Our scripture says that he chose. We didn't choose. We didn't, right. <laughs> Y'all by Shemel chose. There you go. Who was those people that was going to rise up? What they, what they look like and everything right. like that don't right. matter, man. Right, right. But, but right. we know it's right. on the nation of Israel. Right, right. And the royal look is to be dark. Yeah. All nations were once dark. But we have to be honest about the situation we're in as we've been scattered right right all nations are eventually going to be dark again yeah bro we ain't going to the chariot in this right hell we upgraded <laughs> absolutely yep. all Woo! this is changing yep right okay so you ain't taking that that fitted hat yeah you know those favorite shoes you got that's not going Wing stop you know, rides. Them, 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 them earrings you got when you got your income tax they not going right all right, none of this corruptible flesh is going into the chariots to be changed and for a whole new beginning to be established. Right. No. Absolutely. No. Not. You shouldn't even want it. <laughs> right. You know. Okay. Two through. <laughs> Go ahead. This is back in Isaiah 61 and 3. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning. Just give to you beauty for ashes, the Holy Spirit. That's the true oil. That's what the oil being poured over the priest represented was the Holy Spirit, a connection with the Most High, man. We come to give you beauty for ashes. Black culture is ashes, man. Look at it. Look at your leaders. Look at what you got going on for yourself here in America and be honest. Yeah. You're losing, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I heard the story of uh, the head coach of the the Miami Dolphins. Apparently, they had a black head coach. Yeah. Last name Flores. Mm -hmm. And you know, basically, he got all this laundry list of that good old boys club of how he saw 
Patrice Jake. Oh yeah. In the NFL, man. Yeah. And how like they don't like they don't hire no black people, but but it's like seventy three percent of the NFL is Jake. But there ain't no coaches. It's like it's like three coaches. That's that's Jake. It's like the, the most lopsided yeah. Yeah. of yeah. all the leagues. Wow. But it's just an example of we losing here, man. Right. They, they, they just want you to run and jump. They don't right. want you to coach. Right. You know, shut your ass up. They don't want your mind focused on the Lord at all. Yeah, hey, they keep you distracted in any shape. Yes. All right, man. And that's why the Holy Spirit was so important. How would we have gotten out of the, 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 the BS we were in in the grip that the, the, the God of this world have, had over our mind and whatever grip he had it in, because there's various grips. Oh, Satan don't just come in one. No, Satan had us in a figure four. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Remember the figure four in wrestling? Yeah. We were locked, but through the Holy Spirit, hey, we got the cheat code, man. That's right. Go ahead. This is back in Isaiah 61, and, uh, continuing on verse three. It says, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. See, the garment of praise is a spirit. It's, it's, it. exactly. it's a spirit, it's an anointing from on high. That's the true covering oh, yeah. that you should be focused on. More than anything we can put on our bodies, the true garment is the covering of, of, of the most high. <laughs> right? Yeah. That purifies you through his son. That's the only way. That's the only way you're going to be justified it. when it's all said and done. And through that order, we're purified. Go ahead. Just quick precepts, jumping down to verse 10. I says, if you want to tell I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my power. Come. For he hath clothed me with the garments of salvation. Woo! He hath covered me with the robe of righteousness mm. as a bridegroom decketh herself with ornaments and as a bride adorneth herself with jewels. And it's really self-explanatory for the priest that was brought out. The righteousness of the priests are tying that in to that's a mentality that the Lord is going to tie us with. And we just read in verse 61, I'm sorry, chapter 61 at the top, going into how he had anointed us, you know, with the Holy Spirit to preach this good title. So all of that goes hand in hand. To be anointed with this oil, that all is tied to the heavenly, the heavenly Father's Spirit that he placed upon us so we can be able to preach. You know, the only way that you'll be able to preach and do anything that we're doing is you have to have a newness of mind, man. Right. And Elijah got to come. That's yeah, come. That gotta happen. Yeah. In order for Yahweh Shah to send the Holy Spirit, Elijah would have to come. Mm. That's his favorite prophet. You don't think he goes in? Right. His favorite prophet to be at the forefront of the Great Awakening. Did not, did not the spirit of Elijah lead to Elisha when he died? His bones raising a dead man up. Elisha, right, right. because Elisha had a double portion of Elijah's spirit. Right. So. When he died, his bones, when a dead body touched him, the dead body raised up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that's that's symbolic of the prophets, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Through him, we got that 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 fire. We got that, you know, that that the prophets, man. We're resurrected. We're resurrected. Quicken. He had to restore all things, just like Abraham. What did Abraham do? As the sons of God were in a state of absolute idol worship, Terah. Okay, it gives you just a, 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 a few names, but overall, Jake was going off, right? Right, right. So what happened? The Lord restored the legacy that was given to Adam, to Abel, to Seth, yeah. all right? To, to the uh, uh, Enos, Enoch, Noah, Shem, Arphaxad, <laughs> yeah. Eber, right? The, it, that legacy, as he was in an uncircumcised state, was restored unto him. That's what Abraham represents. He restores all things, man. <laughs> and so, and so, going back to that, to that garment, that garment of of, of, of righteousness. How, how, how is it worded again? Right. Of joy. Right. Uh, yeah. 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 Come, on, come. On. Isaiah sixty-one and ten. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God, for He has clothed me with the garments of salvation. Woo. Yeah, the garments of salvation. Go ahead. Come. On. And he had covered me with the robe of righteousness. And the robe of righteousness. And so that's going to come out. And, and you know, whenever you get uh, ready to go somewhere, people know you're going somewhere when they see how you dress. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, where you going? You look, you looking sharp. Right, right, right. You look good. Where you going? Yeah. You know, so people will be up through the spirit you're putting that on, man. Mm -hmm. And that's why through, uh, through the spirit brothers stand out, right? Right. 
because you, you you put that on, okay? And there's a level of comfort that comes with knowing that we're gonna get the hell up out of here. We're gonna win. Like, woo! You know? Yeah, I got one too. Go ahead and stack up. Real quick, I'll, 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 cause it goes in on that. Um, Acts chapter 13, verse 32. That's one of your favorites. And I will declare unto you glad tidings how that the promise which was made unto the fathers, the Most High hath fulfilled the same unto us, their children, and that he hath raised up Yahweh again, as it is also written in the second Psalm, Thou art my son, wow. this day have I begotten thee. Right. And as concerning that he raised them up from the dead, now no more to return to corruption, right. he said on this wise, I will give you the sure mercies of david mm. that's it okay that's it so now when you go in, in verse 32 it says and we declare unto you glad tidings when you look up that word glad tidings okay real quick wow go to that word glad tidings good news right the word is a, a, a strong g2097 evangelizo right to be an evangelist yeah, yeah, yeah. right that's what that we're we're out here giving glad tidings evangelizing right mm -hmm. It says, to bring good news, mm. to announce glad tidings. Right. To who? The Israelites. The Israelites. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing about us, we're so cold, we're so fly, the Israelites, that us being set up will lead to everybody being cool. Yep. At the, when it's all said and done. Whoever bless Abraham will be blessed. Who, whoever bless Abraham will be blessed. Mm -hmm. And the kingdoms, as they're obedient, Right. Unto the ways of the Lord and the kingdom, they pay their tribute. It talks about it in the book of Tobit. They're going to be bringing us spices and, and stones and oils. Just like the queen of Sheba brought Solomon, all of those things. It talks about in Psalm 72 how the kings of Sheba are going to bring him gifts. So what does that mean? You're going to be in a situation where you're going to be good. It's going to be better, far better for everybody under the sons of God ruling. Under the son of God. All right, Hamashiach Yahawashai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, the Messiah, man, our mediator, our high priest. Right? <laughs> Go ahead. Now, subsection A, it says, used in the Old Testament of any kind of good news, Woo. of the joyful tidings of the Most High's kindness, in particular, right. of the, uh, uh, the uh, Messianic blessings. Right, now, think about a, a prisoner. Isn't... Uh, uh, a message of release date that, that's a good ass message yeah. to you like hey we got word you know you know you've been acquitted for all charges you know the, we, the, the appeal that was made yeah. went through it went to the supreme court yeah, yeah, you're good you, and we were gonna we andre gonna you, you got 30 days yeah <laughs> good news yeah and andre you're yeah. getting out of here and what is, what is andre gonna do he gonna tell everybody yeah. he gonna tell yeah. man i had this lawyer my lawyer, man, he yeah. got me out. He did this. You go, you go. Right. <laughs> That's what we're here telling you. Salvation is coming through Yahweh, our mediator, our lawyer. He went and, and made an appeal, and we got acquitted, man, right. through his sacrifice. That's, That's right. right. Okay. That's right. We good. That's right. We're it says justified. in the New Testament, right. used especially of the glad tidings of the coming kingdom of the Most High and of the salvation to be obtained in it through Hamashiach and of what relates to this salvation. So all the prophecies, all what, like everything that relates to our salvation, we talk about how we're gonna rule on earth, the kingdom, everything that comes along with it, how the nations are gonna be underneath our foot. We're gonna be uh, changed into higher forms. Okay, this place is gonna be destroyed. Okay, all that man is glad tidings. That's it. Evangelizo. Right. Okay. Now to to the Edomites and to wicked niggas and to the heathen, that's bad news. Because under this order, you're going to have to get in order. Right, right. right. <laughs> See, Moab won't be able to eat a mouse in the age coming. Right. No pedophiles. Yeah. And if you even think to do that, we'll know and we will show up and exude judgment. We will have that right. Under Yahweh Shah, he said, I'm going to give you power over the nations. Got the hill. <laughs> right? Ain't that written? Yeah. That's not good news. 
Yep. Even if I'm not one of the the the, the governing body, at least being a part of that large multitude and, and being ushered in right under that government, I'm gonna root them on. Those my leaders, man, under Yahweh Shai. But I, I want to be in that body. I want to be directly there too. Yes, sir. <laughs> be at that table. I want to be at the table with the man himself. That's right. You know, because the priests, they're, they're the bankers. All right, they're the elite of the kingdom of heaven. Go ahead. This is um, <clears throat> Revelation chapter two. I saw that verse twenty-five. But that which ye have already, hold fast till I come. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works until the end. To him will I give power over the nations. Power over the nations. I know he's getting ready to look up the word power. I already know. <laughs> that word power in the Greek. I'm gonna give you power. Over but you, you won't, you won't reparations. No. Yeah. How about power? <laughs> right. What about our 48? This nigga got a term. What's this nigga name? Al Sharpton. Yeah. And that's a mockery that he's even still in front of you. Yeah. He's 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 one of your representatives. But here it is, he, he, oh, he, this nigga got a perm talking about, Same we too. want our 40 acres in a mule. If you niggas got your a mule, you wouldn't know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Right. And you damn sure wouldn't know what to do with 40 acres. Yep. Right. Right. You, right you, you, you grow uh, 40 acres of weed. Yep. Yeah. You wouldn't grow no vegetation, you wouldn't grow no food, you wouldn't uh, build no uh, uh, slaughterhouse for, for the cattle. You, you, you would completely fail. That's what you would do. Furthermore, how, the kingdom of heaven is a way better message than some goddamn 40 acres in the meal. Right. I don't even want it. Now, if you put the money in my account, I spend it. But I'm not gonna march and beg you for a goddamn thing. But if you say, all right, every nigga in the world and all of the Israelites are gonna get, all right, $2 million, all right, next month on the seven, and I wake up and it's there. Hey, I'm not signing the motherfucker. You gave it to me, right? Yeah. You yeah. go visit the Hawaii, brother, <laughs> right? Finally. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's the next. It's for a power in the Greek, but this world is getting ready to be over anyway. Yeah. That don't even matter. Not at all. Not at all. It's over, man. The vibe is this. The thrill is gone. Go ahead. This word power in the Greek is exousia, yeah. hmm. all right? Exousia, which when you get that word exousia in the Greek, it also goes into having a, pretty much a liberty to, to implement something. Yeah, as well, yeah. Right? exercise. Implement that kingdom, baby. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm gonna jump down to the scriptural index because it goes, it's, it's a lot more in detail. So it says, uh, power of choice. Right. Liberty of doing as one pleases. Leave or permission. Hey, Malak, may I say something, please? And that's really what Jake fight for, some sense of dominance. And that's yeah. where all these lusts and, and covetousness right. come from. It talks about that in James, the fourth chapter. Right? right? Yeah, the yeah, things... The, for, yeah. Because because we're fighting for a sense of power. Yeah. That's why we chased that. Jake chased out the women. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's why Jake uh, 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 right. starts meaningless, meaningless ass arguments. That's why we esteem to get a business, get business loans that whole fair after a year. You know what I'm saying? So it's always a fight to to for some sense of legacy. Right. You get a funeral home, nobody die. <laughs> yeah, right. Everybody live. <laughs> Man. Right. Gun sales go down. You, right? So as soon as you open a funeral home, hi, this is Clyde's funeral home. Come on down. We we, we bury you. We 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 cheap. Yeah. Nobody died. Yeah. Nobody died for two fucking years. Right. <laughs> if you dead, we go straight fed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's Jake, though. Yeah. Oh, you man. open up a soul food restaurant, you go in there, oh, this is all right. Need some hot sauce, but I'll come back. Yeah. Three months later, done. Mm -hmm. like, man, what happened? What happened to Emma's? <laughs> Damn. Uh, go ahead. It's a little bit more. To, yeah, go check ahead. this out. It says physical and mental power. The ability or strength with which one is endued, which he either possesses or exercises. That's right, and you get that from the glory of the Heavenly Father. Right, right, the glory right. of the Heavenly Father imbues you with strength of mind, strength of body, all, all, all types of power, man. Woo. Go ahead, champ. Power of influence. That's right. Influence. We're going to change the way music <laughs> is, is, we're going to change the tune of instruments. 
We're going to change the tune of art. Ain't that what Esau did in the Renaissance period? What do you think it was rebirth? Away, the image of the beast is art, politics, governing. Right? Yeah. Go ahead. No, no, the, the, like you said, you know, the, like the image of the, when you see that it, it controls, it, it, it dominates right. every facet. We we always talk about those nine or ten areas of activity. Right. Where uh, Esau, he's the hegemonic state. He's a he he has a hegemony. He has the power and influence to dictate where you go, what you learn, what you eat, what you, you buy, know, what you know, and what you hear. Now they could they they control what you say. You're tracking your carbon. You know they, these yeah. phones are tracking how much carbon usage. Yeah. Who we got to get rid of? Who's fit for the new time? That's right. Because there's gonna be a re indoctrination like of you like he the, his dude is so cold in the game. His plan is on a whole nother level. Yeah, yeah. He, he's doing it. He's doing it. Okay, but that power is gonna be translated from Esau's hand into the hands of the elect of the nation of Israel. So we're gonna be the hegemony. We're gonna have the power. Yep. Okay. Like the cheerleaders say, P O W E R. We got the power. We got the power. That's right. Under Yahweh shot, right. and that's the throne of David, because the key is given to Peter. And until we all get a key, that's meaning right. we 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 got power. What did Yahweh shot say? And have the key of hell in life. Right. Meaning he he, he got the key to bring judgment. How often he wants. Yep. That's the power that's getting ready to be given unto the elect. You are going to be a God on earth. <laughs> yeah. See? The, the house of David shall be as God's, meaning you're going to be able to create, you're going to be able to do what the hell you want to do in righteousness, and your authority is it. Then you're going to be able to set up other Israelites under you to have authority too. Yep. Hey. Like Solomon did. Check this out. Go ahead. This is another definition. Delegated authority. Delegated authority. <laughs> right. What do you say? All right, you were faithful in this amount here. You have 10 cities. Yes. And you know it's going to be way more. Mm -hmm. So as we the, the Lord sets up the elect, he's going to be giving you the inheritance. What's the inheritance? First starts at Ju Ju the promised land, which starts at Jerusalem. And that promised land is from what was given to Abraham. Okay? That's the inheritance that when we, all right, gotten to the, 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 the promised land so-called how we is, in a, split it up that's the promised land right. <laughs> right when we get back all of the 144 under your the 12,000 out of each tribe they're going to have an inheritance in those particular lands all over again but from there we're going to go and set up order throughout the whole planet earth from the, the law shall go forth from Jerusalem. <laughs> One more. It says, uh, the power of him whose will and commands must be submitted to by others and obeyed. Woo! <laughs> Obey. Must right? be submitted to. No more gas. No more arthritis. No more acne. No more, what the fuck is, where does bump come from? What the fuck is this? No more, none of this weirdo, radioactive, wicked, GMO world, man. It's over, man. Life is getting ready to be restored to the earth through the, the men of the Lord, man, under Yahweh shot. That's the message. A righteous government is coming to the earth. And you people are so wicked, you don't even care. Hey, you tell someone, man, a righteous government is coming to where you're going to be able to bring, bring good, clean air, all right, uh, oh, none of the water will be defiled. Enjoy your children. Enjoy your children, gold everywhere. You tell a nigga that. Yeah, nigga. Ah. This nigga go, I gotta give, my, give me a black and mouth. Right, yeah. Black and mouth jazz. Right. At his mama house, writing his name on the orange juice. Yeah. Right. That's what a nigga wanna do. Yeah. Be in his apartment forever. Right. Yeah. I appreciate it. This is Revelation chapter 17. We started at 14, but the point is in 15 and 16. It says, And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which came out of great tribulation, washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. There you go. The linen garment. The linen garment. Remember the sons of Aaron, they had a linen part of their uh, under their garment. 
that cover their nakedness. Right. But that's ultimately through Yahweh by Shimei Awashah, that's our purifier. <laughs> you know? That's the covering that we have above all other nations and also all other Israelites. Yeah. If we're of that number, and I believe and hope that we are, because who else is fought, fighting for Yahweh by Shimei Awashah like this, man? Right, exactly. Who's, who, who else is standing on the front line and telling it like it is? Not holding back, not trying to make it cute. All right, just telling you what it is, man. Yep. And it's becoming a hard pill to swallow, even for you Israelites. The true image of the Lord and how he got things set up. A lot of Israel, I don't know about that part. <laughs> well, guess what? It's, it's gonna get, it's gonna, miracles are gonna come through particular men. Watch, healings are coming. As we go through the tribulation through the straight gate, the Lord is going to endure us, starting with our apostles and elders, with power. How about that? We're, we're claiming it. You know how niggas in 2000, all right, well, they, 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 they claiming it, and the next year I'm claiming it. I'm claiming it. I'm claiming a victory. Well, we're claiming a victory under Yahweh shine. And the brother just read that what is it, what is it, what's a part of it? Having the heathen as our inheritance. Telling you Moabites to stop. Because you need to be told to stop. You heathen need to be told, stop. No. No more. La'a. Put that down. Before you get your hands. Yeah. Well, that's what the rod of iron is for. Where, where you at? Uh, Revelation 8. Okay. Read, read, read that. Finish that. You didn't finish it. Okay, this is Revelation. We'll finish that and we'll go back there. All right. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 2. Verse, uh... Start over. Okay, come on. This is Revelation chapter 2, verse 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, right. to him will I give power over the nations. Right, now it's cold that he say to him that overcometh, but then from the foundation of the earth, he already chose who gonna overcome. Yeah. It's just that we had to live it out. The trial of our faith. The trial of our faith. Our rites of passage, man. Go ahead. Verse 27. And he, sh and he shall rule them with the rod of iron. With the rod of iron. What do you think the rod of iron is for? For us to just be assholes? No. For you to stop. <laughs> That's what the rod of iron, that David, when he subdued the nations, though you ain't forwarding your God. That's where he went right and Solomon went wrong. David wasn't about bowing to the other gods and setting up idol temples. No, Solomon did that. David was like, no. He subdued the heathen completely, and they were all ultimately in order under us that's what we're coming to do that's what the rod of iron is for and that's why a thousand years are needed all right we, the, the, the end all be all ain't the rod of iron the end all be all is that you nations know what is required of Yahweh right, right, right. and this is the way through his men yep. order, order. Yep. that's the kingdom of heaven that's coming man and a lot of you Israelites don't even get it yep. Go ahead. It says, and he will rule them with the rod of iron. Right. As the vessels of a potter shall he be broken to shivers. Right. You're going to have to be broken. A horse that, that's not broken becoming headstrong. And that's you heathen, man. Yeah, you it. are what? <laughs> all over the planet are doing it just, and it ain't working. It's You're trying to act like you're these smart, deep, and well endowed intellectually. The Elamite. Now here it is over there in, e in the land of Elam. Where they at? They they sleep in temples with rats, right? They'll they'll do all of that weirdo stuff, and then they'll come over here and become a doctor and look down on you. When well, look what you when you were back in your hometown, you thought a rat was your ancestor, man. Right. Yep. That's the type of shit we coming to stop. No more of that. Brother got a, uh, dyed, uh, yep, read it, read uh, it. Dyed garments from Basra, 144 Bob. Shalom. I, Shalom, I see he, he looked up that word rod uh, in the Greek, and it says, uh, okay, yeah, there it is. Uh, rabdos, uh, rabdos. It says, a staff, when applied to, uh, to kings with a rod of iron, indicates the severest, most rigorous rule. A, a, a royal scepter. 
There you go. Right. And the Lord has broken the scepter, the staff of the wicked. That's right. It's a it's untempered mortar. Okay, if you lean on it, it's gonna pierce you. It's a broken wall. Esau's Esau's rulership, his way, his influence is broken. It's it's over, man. The image of the beast is being shattered through this word. So now they say, well, fuck it. We, we just gonna hurry up with this plan. And what they gonna do? They gonna put your ass on a grid. Yes. You gonna be followed, tracked. And people like us wouldn't even make it when they finally get what they got going on. They wouldn't, we wouldn't even be here. But the Lord is eventually gonna stop them. That's right. Chaos is coming. The breaker is coming. Yahweh Shah is coming to smite that put them hard ass feet. The end of the beast, he's getting ready to smite it, starting on earth with, with Gog and Magog. Right. right? Once you start to bring your, your chip and all of those things, the Lord is going to heighten things up yep. to where war is going to come and break the whole show up. Yep, right. And then, as missiles hit here, the only thing we can say at that point is, it's the will of the Lord. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh receive me. Yep, yep. Caught up out of here. That, 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 that come up hither. Man. Yep. And when he comes, he says, shall I find faith on the earth? <laughs> Go ahead. This is Zechariah chapter 10, verse 3. My anger was kindled against the shepherds. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, you still more Finish, finish. Verse 27, he shall rule them with the rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall he be broken to shivers. Right. Now look at that word broken, it says it says to crush one, it says to tear one right. as in their person or to break their strength. Right. Mm -hmm. well, what, do you, what did David do? What did David and his mighty men do? Uh, he, bro, he pretty much he broke. They subdued the heathen. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, Continuing on, even as I received of my father, Ooh, oh, trying to avoid the ice. ice. And oh, okay. Verse twenty-eight. Nah, this is CIA. <laughs> <laughs> One of them little balls got a camera in it. Probably. <laughs> 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 them little things that fall off. <laughs> oh, you funny man. <laughs> got a camera in it. <laughs> Go ahead. Verse twenty-eight, and I will give him the morning star, and that's the light that he's going. He going to enlighten us. He's going to give us. Ultimately, you're going to get the new covenant. That's right, the true illuminated The true illuminated one. What did Aaron mean? The light bearer. Well, the law now is going to be in you. That's it. That's it. The light. Go ahead. I'm going to read that in NLT, verse 28. It says, they will have the same authority I received from my father. There you go. <laughs> they will have the same authority. The same. The key. Man. That's the yeah, The key. Yep. Join you're going to be able to send judgment. Your will is going to be done for eternity. Yeah, Under the, the authority of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Mm -hmm. Everybody, Everybody, you women are gonna be so happy. Yes. You're gonna be like, okay, I get it now. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't worried about that no more. Like Lisa on the back of that wagon yeah. on coming to America. <laughs> you want you want to give this up? No. You ain't gonna wanna give it up. We go we gonna be winning. It is gonna be way better than some goddamn Simi and Hakeem. Yeah. yeah. Some goddamn Wakanda. Where Esau rides the chariot. No. Yeah. The black woman with her bald head ass in the movie. <laughs> let Esau. Now this nigga in the chariot doing a U-turn. Yeah, yeah. Esau. I, I, I got it from here. Yeah, doing stunts. No. <laughs> no, not in the kingdom, man. First of all, you won't be bald headed. You all of the Israelite women are going to be the, the top women on the planet Earth. Israelite woman is going to be the top woman on the planet Earth under the Israelite man. Right. right. Okay? Like it said, Job, his daughters was the, the, the most, there was no more beautiful daughters than the daughters of Job. Well, that represents the daughters, you Israelites, man. Can we get that? Let's, let's proclaim that because y'all through now. Let's get uh, this is the the Job. It said was no the daughters of Job. This I got it right here. Go ahead. It's Job forty two and fifteen, and in all the land were no women found so fair as now go to the part where he restored everything to him. Okay. Uh, 
All right, this is uh, Job 42 and 12. Because what's the end all be all of the, the story of Job? Well, because Job was really trying to proclaim his own righteousness mm. through the law, through I, I'm perfect, I do this, I do that. <laughs> the Lord was like, nigga, <laughs> no, this is what you got to go through, and you ain't shit. But through him keeping his integrity and humbling himself, what happened? Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Job 42 and 12, it says, so Yahweh blessed the latter end of Job more than, than his beginning. More than his beginning. And that's what's getting ready to happen for us. In the beginning under Adam, we failed, man. But we were, we were blessed. We started out good. But we had to be afflicted. As the sons of the Most High, we had to learn obedience through the Son of the Most High, who came in the flesh just like you got, and never gave in to the temptation that's associated with it. That's your how shot, man. Go ahead. It says in the middle of verse 12, for he had 14,000 sheep and 6,000 camels and a thousand yoke of oxen and a thousand she asses. Balling. 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 Remember we added it up? Right? What was it like in the... It's in a million. Billions, like billions. Dollars today, yeah. billions. If you add him with dollars today, he he was close to a billionaire. Mm -hmm. Go look up Solomon. He was close to a billionaire in months. Isaac was up there. And yeah, Isaac was up there too. Lot, Abraham, they were balling. Yeah, yeah do, you, do you realize what you get? That's the money. The the earth is the money. <laughs> The man got his own money. That's that's money. Money was never made to be. We didn't really deal with coin money. That started, you know, at some later points in our culture. But the, the bottom line, the real money is the earth. Resources. Resources. Real resources. Like the brother said, man, you get you go get you a lamb shoulder at the store, man. Right. Go get five pounds of that. It's gonna add up real yeah. quick. That's five pounds of lamb. Now sixteen thousand sheep. That's just one part of his uh, of his riches. Them so, things are heavy too, man. You know, <laughs> and then you get charged by the pound of mm -hmm. part of it and the wool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then, then, Great then you point. got uh, then you pretty much got reoccurring payments. Them lambs, you know, you, they're gonna be re reproducing. Yeah, right. those is consistently just continually going. Yeah. Yep. Go ahead. Yeah. It says, um, verse thirteen, Job forty-two and thirteen. It says he also had seven sons. And three daughters, and he called the. Well, actually, I've gone down the. Uh, yeah, and he called the name of the first Jemima, and the name of the second Keziah, and the name of the third uh, Karina Punch, mm -hmm. and in all the That's land. Like That's Jake. <laughs> That's so nice. In all the land, read that again. In all the land. Yeah, verse fifteen. And in all the land were no women found so fair as the daughters of Job. Woo! They were fine. They were beautiful. That's going that's the Israelite woman. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Under under what we doing, you go win, baby. Yep. Go where, where we at? Go ahead. I'll bring this priest up yep. here now. So going into the yep. riches of the kingdom. God. This is back in Revelation 7. I read verse 15 earlier. I'm gonna jump down to the points. In verses of 16, 17. It says, I'm sorry, 15. Therefore are they before the throne of Psalms God. 40, Psalms 144, somebody, and 11, go ahead. Therefore are they before the throne of the Most High, and serve him day and night in his temple. And he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell amongst them. Verse 16, and they shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more, neither shall the sun light on right. them, nor any heat. And you notice it's always dealing with the Lord dwelling amongst Israel. It's all, you're always that dwelling. You had these physical ways that he dwell with us. Well, the coming kingdom, he's going to dwell in us. Right, right. Go ahead. God, you know, you know, that was pretty much the point going in. Oh, I'll read verse 17. For the lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them and shall lead them into living waters, of living foundations of waters, fountains of waters, and the most high shall wipe away all their tears from their eyes. Hmm. Now, the previous verse also can expound on the substance that he's about to give us. Because he said that we're not going to hunger nor thirst anymore. Right. Well, that's the correction of the curses right there. You know, because you in the curses, we're going to suffer the heat being over us and such. 
But in the kingdom of heaven, we're going to have that substance back as the brother just brought that out in Joel, man. There you go. You know? You're going to have everything that, everything plus more than your heart can desire in the kingdom of heaven, man. You know? Yep. And that was substance that Job got on his side, bro. This is heavenly substance we're talking about. Right. So you Israelite women, if anything, look in the mirror and say, I'm going to be fine as hell one day. Yep. Yep. And take a shower. All right? Go ahead. That was it on that one. All right, what, what did I ask for? Psalms 144. Yeah, read that. This is Psalms 144 and 11. Rid me and deliver me from the hand of strange children. See, the, 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 to get to that point, really, you got to be rid from Esau, man. Mm -hmm. Deliver me from the hand of strange children, man. The Esau's so cold, he's doing, he's getting caught with all of this wickedness, but he got the power to make it just go away. Yeah. He just got the power to take it out of the media and then make some niggas of the black boule put the spirit on them and tell them to say something controversial to where now all of the focus is being taken off him and now what do you have in the news oh uh, whoopi goldberg kill whites <laughs> that, that, that's really all people see oh they put whoopi on there well that well, ultimately she said the the, the so-called hollow thing with, the, with oh. the small hats all right she said that wasn't about uh, race that wasn't race related it was just about killing uh, white, uh, white on uh, white crime what white you know yeah. and really when you really look at the science behind a lot of that stuff they were trying to pur purge out the the, the 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 lowly of them them are their own people yeah. they were that eugenics too they practice that stuff all yeah. of those practices that they use Okay, uh, in a form of eugenics, that all comes from the Germans. That's all we said. And she said that and had to apologize. But what they're doing is they're using our people as a means to, to, to take the fall, they're the scapegoat. All these pedophiles with these big names that we need to hear, that we don't know who they are, they're roaming free somewhere, are they still doing it? That's just swept under the rug now, this Shaquille O'Neal is speaking against the jab, <laughs> right. which just a week ago, he was speaking against Kyrie for not taking the jab. So these niggas are all set up as what? Distractions, man. And Esau just has a system of niggas who you can make pop up. New rappers. These niggas just pop up out of nowhere, tattoos everywhere with a following. You're like, who the fuck is this? Yes. Yes. You listen to a little goofy shit, you be like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like little little goofy. Goofy. Let me turn this goofy ass shit off. But you be here, you here for a minute. You go, know, okay. Goofy ass thing, goofy ass thing. You turn it off like, man, I'm too big for this shit. Too old. <laughs> you look for the instrumental. Yeah. <laughs> but the, the music of today is even all geared towards the flesh. It's not spiritual. You may like it, and it may draw, it may add to you carnally, but that's not the purpose of music, right? Music was not really made to draw out the, the, the carnal side of man. It was made to, to, for the spirit. Yeah. And everything else is better when the spirit is right. And in this system, your spirit is constantly harassed, man. Aren't you happy to hear a message that is going to finally be over, man? Well, go ahead. This is uh, back in Psalms 144 and 11. <clears throat> Rid me and deliver me from the hand of strange children right. whose mouth speak vanity and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. Your right hand represents your trust, your honor, your order, your image, power. your power. You rule your right hand, your authority, your righteousness is falsehood. You lied about everything. That's why you're so in a rush to try to get all of the videos down because you got caught. Yeah. <laughs> You did too much, homie. You went too goddamn far. The, no, no, what's that movie? The Black Dynamite? The cracker has gone too, too far. far. Yeah. You went too far, man. Yeah. <laughs> they gotta get called out. You're getting called out. Who shall declare his way to his face, according to the book of Job? The prophets, man. And that's why we're here. We're not here because we think we're cute and we want to look like we're so much righteous than everybody else. No. We're here because we fear the Lord, man. We got the testimony. We got something to say on his behalf. And it don't matter how many people walk by or don't see us. 
the vibration of what's happening is, is changing the course of the earth itself. We're speaking in the kingdom, man. We're speaking in World War III. We're speaking in the Kharagma. We're speaking our victory into existence. That's the, the job of a prophet to tell you before it happens. And we're here to tell you under Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushua, we're getting ready to win. Right? The Lord's name is going to finally be magnified in the earth again. Where? This is Matthew 24 and 14. If this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness. Right, all the world. And we ain't got to travel. We ain't got to get on an airplane. Although we, we travel sometimes, right? Brothers go see brothers. But that's not the point. The, the Lord set up the internet to where you can have access to the Holy Spirit without a physical temple. How about that? That's the, uh, if I made the, in the temple, what? It's the, uh, the candlestick, right. the candle had to be lit all times of the day. And That's the internet. <laughs> in the temple, that light was always lit. Right, right. Never went out. Right, you know? right. Hey, you got to give Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah a hand. This is a beautiful story. We, according to what you wrote, we deserve to be where we at. But the water for a chance at redemption, That's it. man. That's it. Yep. Because I'm ready. I'm ready to rule the earth. However, you can't be too hasty to say, Lord, come, because you there's imperfection. So be happy with the grace. That's right. we, 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 we're hastening the dead. We want it to be, to, but it's going to be in the Lord's time. But in the process, you got to focus on purging out those imperfections and getting yourself ready. Shall he find faith on the earth? At least you're going to be trying. Are you going to be resisting? Or you gonna give in when he comes? What, what, what are you gonna be doing? Right. Or you could be in that mansion, that abandoned mansion. All right. <laughs> All right. It's some more. It's, it's a list of points. Point 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 Matthew twenty-four and fourteen. In this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come <laughs> then the end will come yeah you mentioned you may mention going into us preaching this thing into existence yeah. you know the gospel goes out first and then everything that we're saying come into fruition through right the spirit right and it all starts with elijah the prophet all right coming mm -hmm. because if he didn't come the hearts of the children would and we'd right. be a part of that fire he had to come so that that can be you know like him Reestablishing friendship. Mm -hmm. yeah. Friendship reestablished with his people. Yep. Yep. Mercy, grace. What do you think John meant? Grace. What are you under? <laughs> grace. If you didn't have grace, because you oh, you under the covenant? Oh, you we under the covenant. We're under the first covenant again. You want that smoke? Man. No, you want grace. Because when everybody's argument is settled, it all falls under, nigga, you need mercy. <laughs> yep. that's, the, that's the answer if we want to go tit for tat in the flesh. We need mercy, man. And how, how does that mercy come? Through Yahweh Shah. Through Yahweh being predestined. Right. A brotherhood from the beginning, from the foundation of the earth. Before the earth was made, you were created for a purpose, man. Prophets are an extension of the Allah Bash and Allah person. Exactly. Yep. 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 He said, at least I spite the earth with a curse. Mm -hmm. So the fathers of the hearts of the fathers had to be turned back to each other. Go ahead. Uh, Isaiah chapter 64, verse 4. For since the beginning of the world, men have not heard nor perceived by the ear, neither have the eye seen, O power, beside thee what he had prepared for him that waited for him. Right, and we're here telling people, they don't. nobody's thinking about what we're thinking about. Nobody gets it. What we're talking about is it's, come, it's a heavenly conversation. It's not, you know, the, 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 the cleaning up of the waters and the earth. Yeah. Nobody really sits in their day excited. These fake Peter, you know, these fake earth. It's just earth day. Day. Earth day. Clean the environment. The true answer to that is the system of Edomite supremacy being stopped. That's Earth Day. Destroy them with destroy the Earth. Right, right. right. Don't, 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 hey, even the 
That's the sign. That yeah. is true. We take anything we can get up here. Go ahead. Thou meetest him that rejoiceth in work of righteousness. Those that remember thee in thy ways, behold, thou art rough. For we have sinned in, in, in those is continuance. Right. And we remember the way of our Lord. We're not black. We're not niggas. We don't, we don't, we're not bitches. We're not supposed to walk around with our lips black, our pants sagging, yeah, stealing weird. from one another, murdering, being pimps, selling drugs. You're not supposed to do that. You have a culture and an inheritance that was given in the heavens. A way to, 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 to maneuver on earth that is above any other nation, man. And that's your culture and you go, you go throw it away for this wickedness, man? Go ahead. Says, for we have sinned in those is continuance, right. and we shall be saved, but we are all as an unclean thing. We, we need help. We're unclean. How can we be justified by our own righteousness when if you're true to yourself and you think about the true person you are and your actions and your thoughts throughout the day, you're filthy. But only you know that. We can put on these outward shows, all right? But the Lord is looking at the inward man, man. You got a lot of people faking a funk and being demons. Go ahead. Right. It says, and all our righteousness are as filthy rags. Mm. And we all do fade as a leaf. And our iniquities, like the wind, have taken us away. See, the leaf is it, it, green and buds. Then it dies, fall off the tree. Yeah. That's pretty much your life as a human. That's what you know is life. Yeah. Born, I die. Born, you die. And we have to continue this cycle of death, going back to Adam till now, to learn our lesson. Obedience is the way. The following the serpent is not the way. And when is ISUPK going to do a booster commercial? <laughs> Didn't they tell them to do that? Now what do they do? They said, take it. Now what's the next step? <laughs> Go ahead. Right. It says, And there is none that called upon thy name that stirred up himself to take hold of thee, mm -hmm. for thou hast hid thy face from us right. and has consumed us he because consumed of our iniquity. Right. And that's talking about the true Israelites. Okay. Mm -hmm. The true Israelites. Okay. Who in the latter days would awaken from a dead state. And we're here to proclaim that we are those people. And we don't need a DNA test. All we need is the Holy Spirit. That's right. According to the Holy Scriptures, the Israelites will wake up in the latter days, man. Point blank period, out of a dead state. They wouldn't own Hollywood. They wouldn't own the banks. They wouldn't get billions of dollars in aid annually. They would be in a lowly state and be raised up. Go ahead. It says, but now, O Lord, thou art our father, we are the clay, and thou art, and thou art potter, mm -hmm. and we all are the work of thy hand. Mm -hmm. Be not rough, very sore, sore, O Lord, neither remember iniquity forever. Behold, see, we beseech thee, we are all thy people. There you go. Right, and so that's when we got to turn back to salvation. That, like, that's, that's why we talk about the order of Melchizedek. Right. How that order has been reigned in through... Right. Who the world calls uh, Jesus, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Right. All right. And so now we, we turn unto that priesthood. Right. Okay. So now, and, and from that point forward, like the brother was reading in Matthew, the 24th chapter, we go out and we preach this word, man, and right. give all praise to, uh, to the Heavenly Father. We're ministers of a new covenant, a better way. A better way. That's right. We're getting ready to dominate under Yahweh Shah, man. That's right. You're going to have the highest influence on the planet Earth. You want the air to smell like a particular way. You want the waters to be at a particular pH. You want music to sound a certain way. In your region of the earth, that's what's going to happen. Right, right, right. In the spirit. <laughs> so I want to read this Go real ahead. quick. Because now we're being brought back into the remembrance of who we are right. through that sacrifice. Right, right. Okay, right. and so this is that new song. This is that gospel. These, this is that glad tidings that's going out. Right. Okay, right. and the glad tidings of the kingdom of heaven means damnation of this current world right? right so if you got somebody out there telling you god bless america they're not reading the scriptures right. 
Okay? God is not going to bless America. Right. God. He's going to bless it with fire. That's right. right. Okay? And that's according to prophecy, not our own thoughts. Yeah, that's exactly. according to the prophecy. Daniel, the seventh chapter, gives you an outline of the kingdoms that will rule before fire would come, before right. he sends his only begotten son back. Right? Yep. That's right. So this is First Chronicles 16, verse 7. It says, Then on that day David delivered first this psalm to thank the Lord unto the hand of Asaph and his brethren. Ooh. The priest. There you go. Yeah, go ahead. It says, Give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. And that's what we're here to do. We're here to magnify the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. This earth is void of light. This is a dark place, man. Yeah. We're here to magnify the, the, the names of the Lord before anything, man. We're harem. That's what the harem yeah. would do. Yeah. 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 They will go and proclaim the coming of the king. Oh, the harem. The harem. The harem. The harem. The harem. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay? They will go and proclaim, and if they will they look, they look at the stupid. Yeah. <laughs> People were like, look at this bug out. Yeah, he's crazy. Well, that's how they're supposed to look at us. Yep. They will stand outside the market right. and tell you, right. this is happening, that's going on, right. this, this, that. Right. Yeah. All right? And, and, and that, that's how the prophets will see. Right. Okay. That's it. Yeah. It's a legacy. It says. It's crazy. You know, if I may, on Assassin's Creed. Yeah. So you always have the game, Herald. The Herald. So you had to kill a particular Herald. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Yep. They'll be saying a particular message that, right. that, 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 you know, your job was to go out there and kill. Which, you know right. what I'm saying? But yeah. Know. And after Elijah's coming, that's the final plea with people. That's, that's, it. It. that's, that's it. it. That's what it's talking about, man. So we're at the final. This is the final plea. This is the final yeah. time before that fire comes that the Lord is going to extend his hand to his right, people. Right, right, right. right. And whoever's going to get on the ark, go get on and arrest. Hey. Here's what it is. <laughs> hey, we we hey, we go we go through the way. Hey, me and my house, we go we go serve Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's right. In the midst of all of the filth. Right. And this is a legacy that goes all the way back of the men of the Lord standing in the midst of all evil, man. Go ahead. Sing unto him, sing psalms unto him. Right. Take ye of all his talk ye of all his wondrous works. There you go. Glory ye in his holy name. Right. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. His holy name, man. It's his. It's not just. It's, it's Yahweh. What does that mean? He is. That's right. His whole energy, man. We're here to magnify what is supposed to be right and what is supposed to be wrong. The Lord's decision, man. Go ahead. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face continually. Remember his marvelous works that he have done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, we're out here proclaiming his judgment. We, we know we talk about the judgment of old oh, what? What was that? The flood. Right. All right? When he destroyed everybody and everything in the world, man. Noah there was a, preached 120 years. Yeah. Noah was out there telling everybody, hey, it, it's getting ready to go down. No one believed him. Okay? He looked crazy. Right? He looked crazy. And, 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 they, and they likened those times of Noah as in these last days. Right. People are going to be eating, drinking, marrying, and giving up to marriage, watching goddamn what we talked about Seinfeld, you know? Or the whack ass Pro Bowl. Which, right. If you're watching the Pro Bowl, I don't know what the hell's wrong with you. Boring as hell. Okay? Yeah. I watched the Super Bowl, but I ain't watching no goddamn Pro Bowl. It's whack. I was talking to oh, football. So the referees took over. They ruined football. Yeah. Every play, you see this nigga in the, in the screen calling a, yeah, a foul. Yeah. Like, damn. <laughs> I don't even want to watch this shit no more. I ain't been into that shit. But Derek, Derek Henry got me back into it. Yeah. Because <laughs> he running over my way to be. Bo Jackson asked me. Go, up, go ahead. Right. It says, Oh, ye seed of Israel, his servant, ye children of Jacob, right. his chosen ones. His chosen ones. I had to have that talk with my kids today about, hey, God is choosing. He, he chose a specific people. Yeah. Yeah. Is that racist? Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. We had to have that racism talk. Right. <laughs> okay. Right. God had his particular people that he right. chose. Right. Because he wanted to. Right. He advocated for them because that's all that racist means. Right. You advocate. This is what a, a suffix of what something you advocate for. That's right. So you're a racist for this particular people. To be a racist in its essential <laughs> understanding doesn't mean you go and harm everybody. Yeah. Now, wars and things do break out.
because of different cultural differences and things like that. But the, 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 to be racist is not a necessarily negative thing. Right. It just means you advocate, you, you hold dear to yourself, this people above everybody else. Right. That's the pure understanding of racism. That's right. <laughs> and that's what the Lord, that's why his name is Yahweh all right, it says, for he shall save his people. Like we said, all don't mean everybody. All does not mean everybody. It don't, okay? When the Lord died, when he, when he was sacrificed, he, was, he, he did that for to restore the nation of Israel. Right, right, right. Not everybody. Right. In the cold part about it is our light is so bright. All of you gonna benefit. That's right. The whole earth is gonna be changed under the the, 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 the authority of Yahweh Shah and the 144 and the rest of Israel. Yeah. What do you think we're gonna get rulership for? To turn earth back into paradise. All right. Right now, you can go to the store and get a, a, a grape with no seed. That ought not be. That's right. There's no such thing as a seed. What is a seedless grape? <laughs> uh, abomination. What is a seedless person? Their, their technology, that's what they're getting ready to try to do. Yeah. Take over the process of life right. itself. Right. They do it with the vegetation, now they're leaning towards you humans. That's right. That's why they're pushing transgen transgenderism right. so much. That's right. Because essentially, when, when things get out of hand, they're, they're pumping all these, these, these various uh, superbugs, even in STDs. Right. right, like they're saying, like, like there's a, a super uh, HIV, right. which you all know where that came from. It's another story, but and also, contemporarily speaking, they're, what they're pushing in children. Oh, well, you could choose your sex, right? And most people who are choosing their sex, the change of sex are 90% of them are boys, yep. and they get depressed, you know. Yeah. So, what he's doing is he wants to manufacture even sex, right? When, when the great reset session happened. He'll be able to have everybody um, uh, chip to say, oh, we need X amount of women. Clock, 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 clock. Okay, we're going we're right. to do it. They're, they're perfecting. They have a lab. Yeah, they're perfecting that technology. Yeah. yeah. And you will be tracked. Your carbon will be tracked. Your usage of air. Yep. Right? He's going to have the ability to cut off your usage yep. of the earth. Because yep. everything <laughs> you do emits carbon. Yep. It's a cycle. The earth interacts with man yeah. in well, a particular way. He wants to well, limit it. He well, wants to quantify it. Go ahead. They're tracking is the CO2 emissions. Right. right. It's called CO2 emissions. It's called carbon footprint. Right. And, and and now with your online purchases, they'll be able to say, oh, you got some new uh, Yeezys? Right. Well, you just you just killed, you know, 388 pine trees in California, you know, right. whatever. <laughs> they'll be able to track, oh, you, right. oh, you ate, you ate the, uh, the, that two hamburgers today? Well, you, 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 you've reached your CO2 for, footprint right. limit for today. Right, mm. no more. You can't burn no air. As a matter of fact, you will be able to turn off your heat. Right. You're using too much heat, man. Right. Put some blankets on. Right, they're telling you the planet Earth is not, there's too many people on the planet Earth to sustain, for the Earth to sustain. Yeah. No, it's too many people on the planet Earth to be sustained the way you rule. The way you rule, right. Because you rule outside of the boundaries, right. which is the uh, of the law, statutes, commandments, right. outside of the boundaries of the will of the Heavenly Father, right. the Earth is polluted. It yeah. leads to right. decay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Look at it. That's because that's, that's plenty of Earth. Right. But there's too much damn wickedness. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. That's the problem. That's the problem. The problem ain't the people, it's the wickedness. Like the Most High didn't have it figured out yeah. how many people, yeah. much people gonna be on the earth you know? when he want them on the earth. You know? Like the earth is huge, bro. There's no such thing as earth being pop overpopulated. It's no. just the way you run the earth. You got, you in the, you, you stacked up, you in these apartments. Next yeah. door, you hear your neighbor popping his woman. Yeah. Some brothers live in situations where they hear two damn men. Yeah. Uh, that's what goes on in this world. Uh, There's enough room for people not to be that bunched up on top of each other. But what did he do? He hoards that land to himself, and he just had it sitting there. Right. Yeah, yeah. Or if you're Bill Gates, you'll farm a potato that you gen genetically modified, and that's going to be the potato in McDonald's. That's going to be the potato in this place, and that's going to be. That's what he does. That's how they operate the earth. Yeah. Why do you think they hoard all of the resources to themselves? Yep. Right. And in their mind, 
of pride, they really think that they have the power to kill the earth. Like the earth will kill you before right. you kill it. It's gonna spew you out. It's gonna spit you out, right. man. You're not gonna kill the earth, man. You can't do it. it will destroy you first. The waves will just run up on the land and right. wash you away, or you know, the earth will open up and consume you. Most highs, we've got judgment written in the earth. Well, we have to keep making that point. It's pride for them because they think they're going to rule forever. The scripture says their inward thought is that they're going to rule forever. Okay? Mm -hmm. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 22. You shall therefore keep all my statutes and all my judgments and do them, that the land whither I bring you to dwell therein spew you not out. That's it. Right? So, like, like there's one example in the scriptures of them not grooming the land the right way, and beasts would run into the village and eat people. Man. You called it the uh, iniquity of the Amorites. Yeah, had to be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. okay. That land was being ran by complete filth. Right. right. So he said he got a, he. There was a set time before he spewed them out of the land, and he was going to usher in the true pe heirs and and people who have the, the heirs inheritance to that land. Yeah. Right. The Israelites. Yep. Plagues will just rise up, right. you know? Even now, plagues just, rise, just rising up. And, th and this whole, you know, for see one, I, we can't even say it on camera, that's how wicked this place is. Yes. It's so yeah. damn childish, yeah. you can't even say it. Right. Okay? <laughs> soon as, soon as but they... that's just the beginning of plagues, man. Right, but yeah. Freddie Gibbs can get on there and talk about how he go kill a nigga. Yeah. You can, that's yeah, not yeah, hate speech. Yeah, gangster rap is, right. is not hate speech. Right. But if you talk about the jab, your, 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 your channel is just shut off. Right. Cancel. Well, yeah, right. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> Damn. You know, that's childish as hell, man. That's childish, bro. But that's how you know they, they're losing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The elite are losing. They're on the back foot. They're on the back foot. They're on the defense. And here it is. You're a trillionaire, and you're worried about us? Yeah. You're worried about just random so-called Americans uh, figuring you out? And yeah. the Buddhist world is power that we bringing out, man. Right. That's the power that's coming power, out. Power, that's right. Yeah, yeah. this is power, man. If it, if it's supposed to hold this in our vessels, man, right. shit. Woo! That's heavy, bro. Yeah. And that can only be done through your shot. Yeah. For us to be able to receive what we have, because the Most High, if he dealt with us di directly, we, yeah. we'd be dead. Yeah. We'd be done. Yeah. We need a mediator. They even yeah. doing that with uh, Spotify. Y'all seen that? Got Neil Young and all these yeah, other artists. Yeah, I heard about yeah. Joe Rogan and that, yeah. you know. Joe Rogan's, yeah. you know. Yeah. I mean, you know, because it's going to be what it's going to be in this society, bro. Like, man, it's, you know. It all well, boils down to you can't have an opinion against the the, the opinions. You can't offer another perspective. Yeah, the village. At the end of the day, you can you can say he's an asshole. He's annoying. He's this. At the end of the day, he just got a radio show and he brings people on to to have open-minded discussions and have different perspectives to shit. You may not agree. You don't agree with a bunch of shit. But what they're doing is they're shutting down free speech, yeah, that's right. little by little. Yeah. But they have a very inter interesting way of doing it yeah. to where they use the yeah. people yeah. against themselves. It started with Trump. Right, Trump. But they use Trump that as a scapegoat to say, right. all of y'all need to shut up. Right. Your right. hate mongers, right. 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 Every, anything that was Trump related, so they restrict, restricted right. your ability to there talk. You go. There you go. Oh, it's fake news. Everything was fake news. Everything. God damn. Now you got TikTok. Right. God, Lee, I hate TikTok. <laughs> oh, God, I hate it. But anyway, but everything's fake news. And now they can restrict anything you say. Now with this, with the with the jab, oh, my goodness. Yeah. You have an opinion, man. You know, they'll jump down your throat real quick. Right. You know? You can't say anything against the alphabet crew. They can, you know, you know, a little boy can call himself a duck, right. a girl duck. If yeah. you tell, hey boy, you ain't no girl duck. Right, and when a when a when a when a, when a ruler attacks the gender, oh man, that's wicked. And historically, when that happens, that's how you know you're at the end of a empire, yeah. a society. Right. 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 When when people start to be confused on what sex is, yeah. according to the Bible, what does the scripture say? Male and female made he them. Right. That's it. Yep. And he made it hard. No, I'm sorry, ahead. it's like it. And he made a hierarchy even within that. Right. I mean, even with the the the, the relationship of male and female has been so confusing. Right. That there's been a rebellion, a uh, 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 counterculture, uh, to the norm, to right. to the, the feminist standpoint. Of right. you know, you got the the man go your own way movement. You, right. 
really you got GMS starting it off. Right, right. You the know what I'm saying? Movement. You got the red pill movement. All these things took a back. Cow. Yeah. <laughs> you got like an underground movement just yeah. to say, let's have more order in the household. Yeah. Right. Right. Like I'm a man. Like, stop. Yeah. Down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and men men aren't allowed to have standards. Right. Yeah. Women can say, I, I don't want no scrub. You can't be this short. You can't do this. You can't have your ear gotta be perfect this way. Yeah, but the minute a man stands up, is he has a stand. Oh my God! Yeah. Big ass, big ass. Yeah. 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 Well, see, the ancient way is coming back. That's right. Yeah. The ancient man is coming back. Yeah, because he's been gone for a while. Man. He's been gone for a while. Well, what, hey, the Lord is yeah. setting him up yeah. through the Holy Spirit. Yep. What's this like? Uh, good times bring weak men. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Bring weak men. And half of you time. women, we take your ass and give give you a big party. You, we act like it's a party. And we trick them and take them to Russia and drop them all off in Russia and leave and fly back. See how your ass fare over there in Russia yeah. with the vibe you in right now. Yeah. Go to Russia with that. Russian man will absolutely hey, uh, the, the bop openly in front of everybody. And that's a normal thing. If you get, if you walk up on a man and try to fight him in Russia, oh, yeah. bop. Yeah. You'll find out you're not a man real quick. Right. So we, that's what we're going to do. We go, when we get the spiritual power, we go, we go learn how to fly airplanes. We go trick E. Hey, hey, we got a, we got a great, we got a big vacation. You know, yeah, we gonna yeah, take, yeah. You, right, take you, take you to Cancun. We'll take you to Cancun, yeah. and we gonna keep flying. They're like, where are we going? Right? <laughs> and we gonna drop your ass off in Russia, man, right before war breaks out. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's that's gonna happen in the military. Right. Yeah, a lot yeah. of you women, you're joining this military, you right. know what I'm saying, and, and they're pushing that that uh, that vibration. You're gonna go over there to uh, to to the uh, uh, to the to the battlefield, whether it be Ukraine, right. Russia, or uh, uh, the Valley of Jehoshaphat. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And you're gonna get judged, man. You're gonna right. figure out that damn, I am a woman. Right. You're we'll gonna get that and, in yep. Isaiah 13. Yeah. Isaiah the 13th chapter. Yeah. Yeah, I got Revelation real quick. Go ahead. Revelation chapter 12. Um, I'm gonna start there, man. Uh, let's do verse. Jesus, my brother. Uh, verse 12. Therefore, rejoice, ye heavens. Now, the beautiful thing about Revelation 12, real quick, is that it starts talking about this red dragon, which is symbolic of the Roman Empire, and who, who was it? Herod trying to cut off the Messiah. Yeah. He wanted to find the Messiah. He tried to trick him into saying, all right, bring me to him. But he really wanted to slay him because they didn't want us to be restored back, you know, to the Father. Man. Yeah. So what do you think they're going to try to do to the elect remnant, man? Yeah. Yep. So yep. this yep. this chapter is going is talking about Esau. Yep. And they still have, that's why you got, they have the COINTEL program. The COINTEL program was always meant to just keep our people separated from them identifying what they considered a black messiah or a true movement that rose them up as a nation, man. Right, and that shit, they even, they even, it's even deeper than Co Cointel Pro yeah. been done. They got a whole nother. They, they got your whole yeah, yeah. gene, your whole genome track. Right, yeah, right. Yeah. When you really study it. Right. Because, right. but it's prophetic. The scripture says that Esau hated Jacob because right. of the blessing. Right. And so awesome. now that Esau is in rulership, right. they got it signed, they got our people systematically and, and, and categorized man. Right, yeah. Yeah. we talk about the areas of activity every area of activity where we work and move and and from education to law to sex to it's all the foul it's all upside down and right. you are at the forefront of them keeping you at the bottom of it and they use your people to promote to promote all of these perverse behaviors the wayne way yeah they using if you look, notice they're using our people to yeah. promote all of this dysfunction. Yep. And then divide. Bro, the, they, uh, yeah. What's his name? Uh, Steph Curry. A, a man with a <laughs> wife that says, I'm all right if she get plowed out when I'm playing basketball. I don't give a damn. I, I, eat, I bite the sandwich the best. He can bite it, but I bite it better. I don't give a damn. Bite it, nigga. No. <laughs> what, what man in his right mind will be okay with his woman being piped down by another man? But they're from their take. What does it talks about in uh, Wisdom of Solomon? Defilement of marriage. Yeah, yeah. That's what comes from idol worship. Idol yeah. worship, lead there. Yeah. Decadence. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead. Right. This is Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth 
and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. That same red dragon. Yeah. Right. That same red dragon, which is what? The revival of the ancient Roman Empire. Right. And we're living in Rome. That's how the image of the beast speaks. What's the beast? Rome. The image of the beast speaks through the very existence you're witnessing right now. You're seeing ancient Rome literally speak in a technological, highly, uh, 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 it's more room, it's bigger, it's, they got more room, it's you know? But, this is nothing but Rome with an iPhone. With an iPhone. <laughs> they, they have DC set up like Rome. That's right. They, all the science is based on Latin. They, right. they romanticize yeah. everything. Yeah. Romanticize. Yeah. 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 All the gods of uh, the Greco-Roman Empire are pushed in this society. Right. Yeah. All the uh, holidays are built around ancient Greco-Roman right. mythology which, and ideas. Yeah, which entails goes back to Samaria, Babylon. Yep. Yeah. And then eventually the Canaanites, the Egyptians. They all operated in ways that were contrary to the ways that the Israelites were given. Right. Right. The, the predatory capitalistic system that they've now created was based off ancient Roman uh, ideas of money, currency, right. transfer of goods and services. Right. You read about that in the book of Revelation, the 17th and 18th chapter, where it starts to go into the function and power of this beast that, that, that has risen back up. Right. All right. And in Revelation 13, that's John right. of Revelator sees exactly what they're going to issue for mm -hmm. before they fall. Exactly. That's right. The charagma, the MOTB, mm -hmm. all right, the digital tag, okay, the digital all. That's right. Mm -hmm. you, the, the, that, that way, if he completes that, he's the most high. That's right. Man, you want to read that real quick, Revelation yep. 13? Yep, yep, yep. Right. This is Revelation chapter 13, verse 11, and it says, and I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, right. and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. This is Babylon the Great. And this leads directly to Daniel the seventh chapter. In Daniel the seventh chapter, you have the fourth beast. Then what happens? A little horn appears. The little horn is basically reviving the fourth beast back up into the earth, which was it started at the Renaissance, but it's fulfilled in America the NATO and the EU. This is the beast system. If you look at the EU, it's this basically damned into the ancient Roman territory. Right. You look at the map. Yeah. <laughs> you look yeah. at the map. But all, now that's added is what? NATO, Canada, America. Mm -hmm. Go the, ahead. The, that's why the Greco-Roman period is, is, is literally mag magnified right. in this society. Yep. That's what you learn about. Right. They, 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 they praise the Renaissance period as like a, a, a civilization itself. Yeah. Right. Okay. You don't go and you don't learn the history of the Bible. You don't go into the ancient way of living in school. No. They skip you all the way to Greece and right, right, yeah, and yeah, shove yeah, it yeah. down your throat. Yeah, right. Because that's the beginning of this beast system. Right. right. Sure do. And then they skip the the, the the dark ages. Right. And go right back to the Renaissance. Right. Right. <laughs> yep. They said the dark ages. Uh, we, well, we really don't know what was happening. It was just a time where just so you know, things were a little dark. And people, there are particular agree. points in history. <laughs> that really people just don't know but that that was recorded the renaissance after before the renaissance the dark ages the byzantine empire is recorded and what you find out is that our people were ruling so that you think you just popped up with a microphone and a basketball and this is your beginning <laughs> yeah yeah you left the cotton field right and, and start moonwalking right and they said you know what you can drink with us and eat with us right right no way more That's right. That's <laughs> you right. know? Yeah, we got the documents we got the books we got the, the artifacts to prove it That's right. our people were ruling now they weren't ruling in righteousness but it was better than this but after that a thousand year period the renaissance period what happened what's the renaissance rebirth of what rome started in italy and it spread what the classics and what is this the the, the how to articulate man how to view art, how to view sex, how to science. view love, how, science, medicine. medicine. There was a medical renaissance. Yeah, yeah. Was now, the, the Greco-Roman god of healing was what? Asclepius. And all you have to do is look it up and you'll see how that's relevant today. Go ahead. Right. And I beheld another beast coming out of the earth and he had two horns like a lamb and he spake as a dragon. I mean, Revelation uh, 13 and 12 for those following along. 
and he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. Right, Rome. That's right. Rome. He 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 calls, he exercised the power of the first beast. What's the first beast? Rome. America exercises the very same influence, authority, way of rule. Okay, through what do you have? A Senate? You got Capitol Hill. In ancient Rome, it was Capitoline Hill. Yep. You're literally living in Rome all over again. <laughs> John, John Lennon from the Beatles said that. He's like, the yeah. United States is uh, the new modern Roman Empire. And right. New York City is Rome itself. That's, That's it. it. <laughs> That's it. It's just true. <laughs> you, if you, you can't deny it. Rome 60. rules the right. <laughs> yeah. The Roman Catholic Church. Yep. Go ahead. Right. Hey, hey, excuse me, brothers. If I, if, if I could elaborate off of what you just said. What's up? The first people that God created in his image and after his likeness. Who was he talking about? Us. Salute to every last one of my brothers I right. see out here. Right. right. Right, man. All right, all right. Okay, bro. All right. All right. Wow. May the Lord bless you. It says, and he exercises all the power of the first beast before him, White and, ca came after us. and causes the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the so first beast. Hold on, hold on. Hey, brother, brother, it's cool. We appreciate that, though. But appreciate. It. Thank you. But yeah, he's he's right. But he was through Isaac. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You gotta get the real. Yeah, go ahead. This is bigger than white and black. Yeah. It's bigger than white and black. Go ahead. It says, whose deadly wound was healed. Start and, off. You got to start off. Sorry, Salakia. Uh, Revelation 13 and 12. And he exercised all the power of the first beast before him. Right. He exercised the the, 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 uh, the constitution based mm -hmm. upon ancient Roman law. Yep. Colosseum. Yep. Duh. Right in circus. Get that in uh, Malachi. You, you shall rebuild. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Malachi. Oh, yeah. yeah. And causes the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, mm -hmm. whose deadly wound was healed. Right. And he doth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven right. on the earth in the sight of men. And that goes back to NATO when they got the technology up. NATO struck in Bosnia, Kosovo. Yep. Early That's the military arm of this modern beast, right. is NATO. Right. And they can go and basically bully, okay? Whatever nation that they want, occupy sources and continue to extend their hand and arm. Right. You read about that in the book of Habakkuk, the second chapter. Oh, yeah. yep, His yep. desires as hell, man. Right. He gather up for himself all nations. Right. And he gather up for himself all people. And they have the fatness of the earth, and you're living as a rat in a rat race. That's right. They use time as a weapon. You can't really think as a man. You can't enjoy your family. That's right. You don't have time. You don't have time. Yeah. That's not the way the Lord intended humans to live. Yeah. There's no legacy building in this society. Right. 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 You just nine to five in it until you 68, 75, and then you hope one of your kids will put you in a, a pretty good nursing home. Mm. Yeah. And if you don't you kill and yourself. Betty can have a side right. relationship. If you don't kill yourself. <laughs> right. If you don't kill yourself first, Seriously. man. Right. Most of the people just die before that, man. Yeah. You know? Right. But this is a like the like the elder said, it's a YOLO no legacy mindset in society. The scriptures don't teach that. Mm -hmm. the, our, your thoughts is first supposed to be, is this building my nation? Right. What an alphabet. You know, Abba. And, yeah, Abba. The you Father. Know, the strength of the house. Baya. Yep. The house. That's right. That's right. Yeah. All right. The, the head of this, uh, is, everything is predicated upon family. And now you barely speak to your auntie. Everybody got an attitude with one another. The jab break, everybody hate each other oh, now. Man, yeah. <laughs> you got particular family members saying, don't you come over here if you ain't got a little uh, nigga got a curl. Don't you come over here if you ain't got your, your jab. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't ate, you didn't ate every abomination. You live like total trash. <laughs> now you're the standard of health. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, right? With them flaming hot. Yeah, the, the, flaming yeah. hot. Yeah. Yeah. Ankles, big bag. Ankles swollen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what you gonna tell me about? Yeah, now they're the standard. Of, and then, who made you a duck? Who made? Who made Gates? A yeah. 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 He's a computer guy. <laughs> yeah. He's transformed into a medical doctor. Yeah, out of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. Now the largest farm holder. He's like, I deal with viruses all the time. A computer virus. Right. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> right. 
I got it. <laughs> Anybody Self. say virus? Right. Yeah. Right. Paul's cousin right here. He pops up. It's crazy, Why man. Why does he die? He's never sick. Right. That nigga, yeah. And see, if the Lord didn't come, him, Oprah, them niggas would be here forever, man. Yeah, man. Oprah. And yeah. Oprah. They would never She's die. She's still 56. Right. Yeah. 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 Baby blood yeah. chicken. Yeah. Yeah. These wicked they're people, they're, they're, then that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to cr create immortality through technology, man. Talking about you gonna heal the blind. Yeah, great. Yeah. That's what they're trying. They want the power, but you can't get it. Right, right. Ridiculous. All right, back in Revelation <laughs> 13 and 14. Yeah, man. Right. It says, and deceiving them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles, right. which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. So Isaac gave him a blessing, the fatness of the earth. So he balling. Yep. So within his, with the resources he uses. He, the Lord gave him the power to do miracles, technology. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. You're yep. able to get on your phone and have a conversation face-to-face well, -face with somebody in a whole other part of the earth. This technology is, is dope, but it, it destroys, and it's a snare into your soul. Mm. It detaches you from the Lord. Yep. I don't remember, I, you don't remember phone numbers no more like you did before Man. you Hell got no. the cell phone. I used to remember everybody's phone number back in the day. Mm. So yeah, you got everything at your beck and, you know, if you call, when you, whenever you call for it, it's like a microwave world, but you yourself aren't being advanced. Right, right, mm. yep. If anything, you're becoming sicker. That's right. You're the, decaying. The shortcut. Right. The shortcut that leads to sin. We right. always talked about that. We can instantaneously do this. Right. The Lord didn't want you to you instantaneously like that. do that. That's what Eve wanted. Right? Like our, our idea of that's what Eve wanted. Eve right. wanted the shortcut. Right. I, I, I shall not surely. You got to order, but you go, the serpent come, you know, I got a better deal. Yeah. You don't have to wait like that to do it. Right. You can do it like this. You don't have to wear that head wrap. You know, you don't have to do it that way. You can do it this way. Thou shalt not surely die. Right. And then what happened? You died. Yeah. River dry up. Bumblebees yeah. die. Man. 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 Dry up. Bumblebees. Right? And so now, because of these miracles, he wants to play God and make you think that he is God. Right. And right. like you said, his blessing was the fatness of the earth. Right. Esau, we're talking about Esau, right. who was going to rule in the latter days, like the scriptures say. But his blessing was what? The sword. So through his military might, he's able to do all types of you know, different experiments, develop this, develop that, university. create this. That's create, what universities you know? are for. Yep, that's right. Experiment. Now at the bottom of uh, major universities, they chopping up bodies. Yep. And it used to be just all old slaves. Right. Harvesting yeah. organs. Harvesting organs. Right. This program, that program is getting funded. Using people for just as human guinea pigs. That's right. There's people right now in a cage somewhere just, just getting experimented on. Yep. B billion dollar industries. Yep. Of torture, man. Yeah, y'all yeah, think this stuff, this is real, man. Right. You know, these stuff is not just magically popping up. You know? I gotta put the voyage in. Isaiah 32, verse 7. The instruments also of the troll are evil. He deviseth wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words, even when the needy speaketh right. Even when you speak right, when you say, okay, we ain't gonna be drug dealers. We ain't bitches. We 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 we're men. We 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 princes, princesses. When you do that, you teach it. Hey, you get down. Yeah. You must be woke. Yeah. You must be woke. Yeah. Like, yeah. what can we do? Just play basketball. Shut up. Just, yeah. yeah, play basketball right. and we'll get an NPC and just make a beat. Go ahead. The media is so hated fear. Because most people buy it. That's easier to sell than love. It's easier. Right. It's Way easier. easier. It's easier. It's easier. It's easier. Yes, right. right. And then they divide everyone up. And it's like... Well, if you're going to bring in an order that they're trying to bring in, you need people divided. You need people confused. You need people uh, uh, fighting one against another. And that's what the media does. It gives people an idea of a position to have. Yeah, and it's exactly the same thing that corporations do. Right. They used to work in investment banking. That's right. the first thing yeah. they do is divide up. They the divide, thing. right? Because they're trying to conquer it all, right? In the most profitable way possible. Yeah. Right. 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 Well, so now what we have is an advanced system of of corporate governance coming, fascism, a, a, but a high technological fascism where we take Google, Facebook, Apple, 
uh, the Tesla Corporation and combine it with the, with government regulation. So now when you walk in Amazon uh, Amazon store, it's already got your chip locked in. Yep. You know, and they'll use this for piece of safety measures. We need to make sure that you're well, clear. Yeah, that's where the false flags are. You know, about. all of those type of things are being set up. So but you need people to body, you need people scared. You need them scared. And then you bring false flags. You create a new boogeyman. You use another false flag. You create another boogeyman. Pedophile just creep off scot free. <laughs> right? Yeah. Right. yeah. All these pedophiles get caught. All right, two months later, Whoopi Goldberg! Shaquille O'Neal! Yeah. And then the pedophile, all right, I'll be all right, Just on the island chilling. Right. <laughs> and a lot of them are in show business, and they're really oh they're, they're everywhere. <laughs> the whole world is ruled by pedophiles. This whole yeah. system is ruled by sick. Yeah. <laughs> sexual magic. Sexual magic, there you go. You know, they, they believe in that sexual magic. Okay. That was the problem. Do yeah. as thou wilt. Yeah. Right? Go yeah. ahead. Uh, Revelation, and it, it seems outlandish, but they made a bomb that can blow up a whole continent. Right. Yeah. Everything they do is outlandish. Right. When he's right. never not been ridiculously outlandish. Right. Right. You know what he's definitely a problem. You know? And we can we don't even have to bring up racism. I mean, the so-called racism. And we don't even have to bring up slavery to have a case. Yeah. You got to be stopped, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the earth. Monsanto by itself. And, and I mean, the aliens came down. Supposedly. <laughs> I, no, no one's talking about that again. Well those 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 UFOs, so called UFOs, are they're the chariots like, of the Lord. But Lord. they do have their pseudo they're gonna have a pseudo alien invasion. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. They gonna scare everybody before they really bring that corrupt, but they're gonna come Does that have to do with time. the like religion? Like I've always there, there, there are, the Bible does speak of uh, heavenly vehicles. It calls them the chariots of salvation. That's where the angels dwell. You think the Lord, the Lord going to give man a vehicle, the, the, the ability to have an airplane, and his angels ain't going to have vehicles? Yeah, there's vehicles yeah. in the heavens. They're spoken about all throughout the scriptures. Yes, yeah. the, the major story is when the Israelites were leaving out of Egypt, right. they were following a cloud by day and a fire by night that right. was in the sky <laughs> guiding them. Right. And this same cloud and fire like literally they followed it through the wilderness and the Lord was so mad at, the, at, at our nation that he just made them circle around right. in the wilderness for he, years. He, 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 put, he, he uh, sent down fire on them. Mm -hmm. In Numbers 11, that, that chariot sent down fire on them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Hey. Yep. And, it's, and it talks about it in the New Testament too, how these chariots are going to come with fire. Right. Yes. The, the, they, and they call them UFOs. Hey, real quick, Revelation uh, 1 and 7. Uh, Revelation. I got it. Revelation chapter one, verse seven, and it reads: It says, "Behold, he cometh with clouds, right. and every eye shall see him, right. and they also which pierced him." When he comes back, it's going to be through something in the sky, according to the Bible. <laughs> All right, get that. What's that? Isaiah uh, thirty-one mm -hmm. and five. Go ahead. Read that again. So behold, he coming with clouds. Mm -hmm. He coming with clouds, and every eye shall see him. Right. And they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth right. shall well because of him. And you know what that means? That Rome would be ruling when he came back. Because it was the Roman soldier who pierced him. So he said, Behold, he coming right. back in the clouds. And behold, remember those who pierced me? He's returning to the revival of the Roman Empire. That's yes, right. He's not going to be a lamb sacrifice. No. Nah. He's going to be that lion. Right. <laughs> right? Right. Taking down prey. All right? Bodies on top of bodies. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Bodies Bodies gonna be, his garment is going to be covered in blood. <laughs> yeah, he's coming back to judge. That's right. <laughs> All right. Where are we at? Isaiah 31. Go ahead. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 31, verse 5. And it reads, as birds flying, as birds flying, go ahead. So will the Lord Yahweh of hosts defending a salah, yeah, defend Jerusalem. Right, that's how he's gonna defend us. And this is end time prophecy. We'll prove it. Go ahead. God, come. As birds flying. What do you look where do you see a bird flying in the sky? Yep. That's how the Lord is gonna return. And th th there's particular scriptures, and we can go to them. That directly describe them as chariots, yeah, as vehicles. That's right, though. That's yep. right. I had a dream of the chariots like two or three days ago. Right. right. We was all out. We was at on the, in the like compound type right. area out there, right. green, grassy area. 
and right. they, what the enemies was coming we was fighting a battle we had one like a, like a small skirmish right but then we was like trying to get the, we, our children were out there we was telling the children to go hide and then the chariot just come Woo. and everybody was afraid so we was afraid our enemies were was afraid but we knew it was the chariots we were still scared yeah, though yeah, yeah. but the chariot was changing shape right it was turned into different things well even the messiah remember it said he was, he was received into a cloud he was received into get a that cloud. psalms 104 i got it go ahead read it psalms 104 and 3 who led the beams of his chambers and the waters who make up the clouds his chariot who walked upon the wings of the wind right he made, now look at that word chariot it should be rakab or marakab right it's a riding something you ride the angels are on those chariots now the government and the signs that they yeah they have pseudo things out there too don't get it twisted everything you see yeah you know what i'm saying some of that stuff be them but we know and believe i don't even have to see the chariot videos to believe they're there yeah we've seen them yep. yeah, exactly. but i don't have to see it i believe yep. it the, the scripture says right. they, they were scattering our enemies before us right they were going before us in the wilderness that's why the Canaanites was like, oh, yeah. don't mess with them. They, they, they destroying everybody. Literally, it's written to the story. Yeah. <laughs> you know, go ahead. That word chariot in the Hebrew is rock, uh, rock, 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 chariot, right? Yeah, it says chariot, and then uh, it says from the past root, which is a uh, uh, rakah, which means to mount and ride. To mount and ride. Get it. Okay, you do that with a horse. As a man, all right, you do it with a car, you do it with an airplane, which they, they studied the bird to create the airplane. But at the end of the day, the angels have vehicles as well. God, that's right. What's that? Have a poop, what are they called? The, the chariots of salvation? Go ahead. This is Rebecca 3 and 8. Was the Lord displeased against the rivers? Right. Was thy anger against the rivers? Now, what is Rebecca saying? He's seeing a vision of the end. Mm -hmm. What happens in the end? destruction of the chariots to delivering the children of Israel. Go ahead. Was thy wrath against the sea? Right. Did thou rise upon thy horses and thy chariots of salvation? Woo! The chariots of salvation. Go ahead. Keep reading. Thy bow was made quite quite uh, naked according according to the oath of the tribes. The oath of the tribes. See? That's how he's going to deliver us. The scriptures do say it's going to say, come up hither. What do you think that means? It ain't just going to be a cloud. Look, that that, that, that represents that they, they just are. Clouds, not one is the same. Right, they just right. are. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Snowflake. There's no one snowflake that falls on the ground that is like the other. Never. It's impossible. Well, the chariots, they just are, man. They're like the clouds. Hey, if, if I may, because that's the spiritual part of the cloud. When you actually read it in Acts, the first chapter, where Yahweh Shai got taken up in that cloud, you can also backtrack that same cloud to the cloud that the Squan may mention in Exodus, the 14th chapter. Mm. Now, when you go into that word cloud there and look through those definitions, one of the words is a platform. You know what I'm saying? And a platform is an object that can be stood on or just an object in general. But that's clearly showing you that it isn't a regular cloud, but it was actually a platform that was hovering over them. That's one of the definitions of cloud when you actually backtrack it to Exodus 14. Let's go check this off. Your cherry. Go ahead. I got one of Matthew 24, verse 27 to 28, in reference to the birds uh, in, in Isaiah 31. Verse 27, for as the light, excuse me, for as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even into the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Those demons are talking about the church. Okay, right. I got a precept. Second Thessalonians chapter one verse six. Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you, and to you who are troubled, rest with us. Rest with us. When the Lord Yahweh shall be revealed from heaven with His mighty angels. Ooh. In flaming fire, mm. taking vengeance on them that know not the Most High. Mm. So it's in the Bible, literally. Yep, <laughs> that's right. It says the angels. That's right. That's right. It say Michael is gonna stand up. Mm -hmm. Woo! And like that, and, like, and like Hebrew or uh, Judaism or whatever. On Friday nights, they're supposed to be with you. 
They're wandering around in the spiritual right. world right now. Right. The other side has no shot against them. Well, the elect. And the it's just elect walk the with angels them. Are, are with them wherever they are. Yeah. They represent Jerusalem. They represent yeah. good right. soul people. Well, for the matter. Lord, it's Jerusalem because that's the special place on earth where he established the relationship yeah. under Solomon. So now Jerusalem is wherever those that's people right. are. That's There's right. angels dwelling over his elect. Yeah, sealing, sealing. They, 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 the angels are being sent to seal the elect. Right. The four winds are being held for them to be gathered. And we're being gathered underneath the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Right. So as that seal and that mark of, of that knowledge of His wisdom is going out, man, there's angels out here. That, there's angels out here right now, man. Yep. Right. In the midst, right. protecting. Okay. Yep. All of those things are happening in the spiritual uh, realm. All like of, all around us, man. Okay? It said Lisa's least, least foot dash against the stone. It said that the angels will bear him up. I mean, it's talking about Yahweh shining in a sense, of course, but that, that's talking about us too. So as we're walking in this darkness, you know, this valley of the shadow of death, we got the light that helps you see. So we not, if, even if we stumble away, the angels are there to get us, man. Ooh, I got it. Yeah. And so, like, Israel ain't doing much better than America. I mean, it's basically the same thing. The transgender thing's kind of there, but oh, it's yeah. going there. Yeah. But I mean, secular, like half of the country doesn't even believe in God. They don't even know how they Right, got they there. don't believe in the Messiah. Yeah. <laughs> Their they, grandparents they believe like, in the, the, Holocaust, the Talmud. So like, I don't believe in God. They read the Talmud. Yeah, yeah. exactly. The Talmud. Right, right, right. right. It's the Edomites. Mm -hmm. Which the Talmud is basically like a discussion of a lot of rabbis. Right, arguing. it's just a bunch yeah. of history. It's like. It's like uh, right, right. But some weird, creepy stuff in there, though. Man. There is some creepy stuff. Oh, in the yeah. Yeah, a lot of Babylonian uh, yeah. stuff in yes. there. Yes, right. right. Marriageable age is three. What? Yeah, what? Yeah, it's in there. <laughs> Go ahead. This is Ezekiel chapter 11, verse 22. And it says, Then did the cherubims lift up their wings, and the wheels beside them. These are objects in the heavens. You know, the wheels beside them. And the glory of the God of Israel was over them above. And the glory of the Lord went up from the midst of the city and stood upon the mountain which is on the east side of the city. Right. But that's just another example going into the chair, chair, the chariots and how it actually describes them as being objects right here. It says the cherubims looked at it with their wings and there were wheels beside there. That's what they call saucers, right. flying saucers. Right. And, a uh, wheel and a wheel. Right. And uh, all the chariots. And uh, there was a sci uh, scientist of Israel just passed away, Hayam Ashad. He, before he passed away, he said that the United States and Israel have been working with these people, UFOs, for like 30, yeah, they years. have those. Oh, yeah, they have their version. Yeah. Like Michael and his angel are gonna fight against the dragon yeah. and his angel. Yeah. 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 They're gonna fight. They're gonna try to fight the second coming of, of who the world ignorantly called right. Jesus Christ. Right. You hear about space uh, defense. Yeah, space right. defense. Now you're a trillionaire. What are you so worried about that you, you know? Because they know what's coming. They right. know. <laughs> they know. Right. Right. You've right. got to be wicked. First I think though. Elon Musk might be one of them. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh yeah, they definitely have particular people down here yeah, he who are under like so who got particular special demons on them to forward things into humanity. Yeah. Yeah. For their enterprise. Oh yeah, they deal on the left hand side it's deep. Yeah. Just like the right hand side is powerful. Yeah. 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 The yeah. left hand that the wicked. Yeah. Yeah. It's, so powerful, it's yeah. a power with that. Goofy, corny, Tony Stark wanna be right. <laughs> He's gonna get destroyed too. Right. 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 Yeah, he but he's nobody. Yeah. He's just the face. Of right, right. millions of other Edomites who just have money and just who create ways to conquer existence. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't understand yeah. what the people don't remember about their own empire. It right. got destroyed. Right. It's right. not here anymore. Yeah. Right, right. But it's it's like those nations. It doesn't last forever. It doesn't last, <laughs> and that's what we're at here in America. I agree. Yeah, yeah. Hey, if I could say real quickly, um, there's actually a documentary going into how uh, they they place a lot of misinformation about the chariots, about it being uh, these UFOs, things of that nature, to cover up the fact that they are, are, are actually uh, coming out with cutting edge technology, like aircraft and things of that nature. Well, let's get it in uh, real quick before you read that, Revelation 13, and they blaspheme the angels. Right. Let's get that real quick. Yeah, I got it. Uh, what, what is that? He said, we got, are we leaving now? Yeah. Oh, who's that? Ain't uh, a few. Go I ahead. got it. 
Okay. This is the book of this is the book of Revelation, chapter thirteen, verse six, and it reads, "And he opened his mouth and blasphemy against the Most High, to blaspheme." Who's the he? The beast. Mm -hmm. The Edomites. He opened his mouth and blasphemy. Go ahead. He opened his mouth in blasphemy against the Most High. Right. To blaspheme his name. His name is the very image of the Most High. Along with your name comes your rank, your right. authority, right. what you're about, your image. Mm -hmm. He blasphemed the true image and intent of the Most High through pseudoscience. So go ahead. To blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. He blasphemed the name, the tabernacle. Who's the tabernacle in spirit? The body, the Israelites, yeah. his spiritual temple, man. And he blasphemed them which are in the heavens. Who are in the heavens? The angels. When you think of an, a, a so-called UFO, you picture the dude that was with Flintstone, the green little yeah. dude. Yeah. Which that was really them talking about Jake, man. Yeah, that's E.T. Yeah. You know, but you E.T. <laughs> a, a green dude with his hands, Scotty Pippen hands. <laughs> <laughs> he would get out, he walk out the chair, <laughs> stomach big. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking, like, what the, what is this? Yeah. I'm playing Will Smith. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, Jake will run from that man. Yeah. Esau walked towards him. Yeah. Oh, hey, little fella. Hi. And they just came out with their independence day, too. Right. Well, no, no, that ain't, that's not reality. Yeah. They blaspheme the angels. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like nigga walking up on you, you like, bro. <laughs> I heard you had Klondike bars. <laughs> yeah. Right. He came all the way here for ice cream. Yeah. No. That's not reality, man. Yeah. Nigga talking about I'm come all the way from a whole other planet. <laughs> right? No. That's not reality, man. Go ahead. Whatever you had. Yeah. So we can end it off. Uh, yeah, we got one. Yeah. Uh, Psalms chapter 49, verse 11. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever right. and that their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. Wow. Nevertheless, man being in honor abideth not. He is like the beast that perish. Right, Antioch. That was named after Antiochus. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> America is named after Amerigo Vespucci. Right. Africa, Leo Scipius Africanus. Yeah. And so many more. The elements are named after them. Yep. The planets are named after them. Yeah. Right? They think they're going to forward and somehow conquer life through death. No. Yeah. It doesn't work. Life is and you will things. never see immortality. <laughs> See, this is the end of this. Do you think in the kingdom of heaven that'll happen? No. That's that little weird music that you talk about. Right? <laughs> That's the Kashi's looks nice. Huh? Takashi's cousin. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what this society brings. It's time out for that. Right. Righteousness right. is getting ready, ready to be set up in the planet Earth in the form of Yahweh through Yahweh Shai is going to set up the throne of David. All right, the Israelites will be all righteous. The Israelite man, the Israelite woman, the Israelite child will be the dominant top race. That's right. All right, on the right. planet Earth under Yahweh Shah. We're going to rule right. righteousness, man. That's, That's what right. we're here to proclaim, the kingdom of heaven. So we'll give all praises to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Yahweh And double honors to the apostles, the elders, the great millstone, peace and salutations unto the elect. Shalom. 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 Shalom